coming back. There you go. Do, 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 do. All right. I've got a long road ahead. Now, if drops still don't work, well, then that's it. Feet can carry I know the channel's set up to work with drops. Yeah, I know about left hold. What's hiding here? This backpack. Ooh, a hat. Hold on. We must. Okay, go away, tutorials. We must equip a chapeau. Well, it's a look. I think I'm going to go hatless. I repeat, hatless. Hey, Quill, pay attention. There's news. At least until we find a jaunt your hat. Hey, no point. Thanks for the sub. Mare grass, which is going to tell us we've unlocked a recipe. Mm hmm. Let's read the shanties for the bitch queen. That would be, um, Umber, Umber, what's her name? Umberly, Umberchi, what's, I can't remember that goddess's name. Uh, it's the goddess of like the sea and storms and things like that. <laughs> Umberly, there it is. And all we row with the spray upon our necks, and all we row with the spray upon our backs, and all we row with the sea beneath our feet, and the bitch queen stays the storm. Wave mother, wave mother, lash us to the prow. Wave mother, wave mother, we ask you to sail your skirt if you allow. I don't know how those lines, clearly I didn't have the right pattern there, but wave mother, wave mother, sink us if you will. Wave mother, wave mother, skulls are yours with brine and sand to fill. I know, 10 out of 10 singing, right? Souls away and anchors still, the wind won't move without the bitch queen's will. We'll wait gladly years and days till the bitch queen brings the waves. Hey ho, she told us so. Hey ho, she told us so. There you go. We could grab the book, but I think they only sell for like a buck. So. Mangled Fisher. So we don't know what killed all these people. Maybe they got killed by falling the brie. Or maybe they got killed by something else getting out of here. I don't know. But a perfumed letter. Sigh. I love you. There, I said it. And if you meet me tomorrow, I'll say it again and again and keep on saying it till we're old and gray. So let's do it. Let's go to Baldur's Gate. I know it's risky, but so staying here. The last few months have been hard, but they're always a little easier when you're there. Leave your boat and meet me at the hill overlooking the old bridge. Bring whatever you can. We'll make do without the rest. Don't be late. Love, Anna. Well... Sucks. They're not dead, they're pining for the fjords. A fish. Some camp supplies. Gold. Belladonna. Some beautiful woman. How oh. is like tuberculosis chic a thing, you know? Right? Syphilis chic. How is that a thing? These diseased looks that were sought after. And then I think Belladonna, one of the things with it is sort of gave you that that sort of pallid look, right? Because you're poisoning yourself just a little bit. Just a soup song poisoning. Uh, yes, alchemy. You can craft your own potions, poisons and elixirs using alchemy. Gather ingredients to distill into extracts. Is this still one L? What this still was two L's. Probably just wrong. I mean, I'm just thinking because of distillery. No, distill, two L's. Oh, distill is the verb, wait. Oh, it's UK versus US spelling stuff. Okay. And then Canada is just like, flip a coin for which one we, we follow. Do do do. I don't remember where the, uh, there, alchemy. So yeah, we don't have enough to complete anything yet. Filter craftables only. Oh, 
That's weird. Oh. It's weird. It still has some categories open, but not others. I wonder what the rhyme and reason is. I mean, this is clearly all the extra. Oh, extract all ingredients. So suspension is there, but the filter crap. Okay. So this is just to get the extracts or whatever of something. This is the actual crafting part. Uh, okay. Uh, I don't think when I uh, played the uh, early access, they added in crafting at some point. I don't know that it existed when I played it last. So this is where you used to meet Shadowheart over at this door, right? Origi like in the early, early um, beta when Shadowheart wasn't on the Nautiloid. Can't get that open easily. Maybe there's another entrance. But I think the fast travel point is already unlocked. Yeah, when we came near. Okay. All right, so some of these people were people that were on the Nautiloid. Oh, those intellect devourers. I wonder if they nerfed their damage from like the early, early access, because those things could one shot you. They were brutal. I'm gonna do a safety save here. And then we'll pop in there, but that's still gotta be looted. Yeah, and it doesn't highlight the uh, wooden barrels, which are lootable. So alt doesn't highlight everything. Not even all lootables. I guess I should prep a shillelagh. Although I do have my wild shape. We can bear it up. Although I can do it as a, I can do it as a bonus action. I was gonna say swift action because I'm used to third ed. If the player chooses to be cleric, is Shadowheart still cleric, first party member? Uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, you can do a party that's all clerics and actually have like an amazing time. One strike could be lethal. I mean, that is accurate. One strike can be lethal. But let's go ahead and wild shape for the very first time. Bear. It's the bear necessities, the simple bear necessities. You have unlocked the, an action as a result of another ability, feature, or condition. It will remain at the side of your hotbar until those conditions expire. So I think it's, yeah, Dismiss Wild Shape has been unlocked. Goading Roar. Roar at nearby enemies to goad them into attacking you. So this is sort of a taunt mechanic. Arr! This was weird. It looked like the bear just punched. It wasn't a claw. It was a punch. That's what it looked like to me. The biggest thing about going into bear mode is we get a crap ton of hit points, and if we hit zero hit points, we don't die. We just turn back into our humanoid form. I don't have to worry about getting one shot by these intellect of ours the same way. Now, we do have a regular main hand to hack. Oh, you're a high, high half elf. Now, like, how do you have Firebolt? That's quite interesting. So, if we ran up, melee, 85% chance to hit. It is pretty weakened. There's a good chance of killing. Out of curiosity, your Firebolt odds. 80 here, less here because of obstruction. I think what we do is we go for the finishing blow. But we'll manually path, because otherwise we're going to go through the fire. Spells. No, I think this is the best way to do about things. 85% chance. Oh my god! Why are you rolling minimum? Shadowheart! Get your shit together. Um, we could shield the faith. You know what? I think I will, and I'm going to use it on Shadowheart herself. To give her some extra AC here. In case she gets attacked. And she gets hit anyway. She did succeed a concentration saving throw, so that's good. I'm not wrong, right? Concentration does use your con. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. So, the lures. 
Yeah, max damage is 12, so we can't one-shot here, regardless. So I guess... Oh, you're at 9! Why are you at 9 to 5? Oh, these, some of these are already damaged, I see. I guess I'll go here. With our damage range, we've got about a 50-50 chance of one-shotting this. I'll be a little disappointed if we don't pull it off. I could goad here. Is it? Oh, it's a full regular action, and they get a saving throw. Oh my god. One HP! I mean that that's that's my that's on me for being greedy. You know, that's Yeah. I jump. To here. No no attack of opportunity. Nice. Let's do it. Alright. Oh, what's her damage range on this? Two to seven. Well, least minimum damage, assuming she hits, we'll kill it. There we go. I don't think we need to do a shove, although if she gets over here, God hold on. Hey, yo, shove him into the fire. Or, or not. It was worth a try. Okay, I'm gonna smash this one because it's got a lot of hit points. We might be able to kill it in one go. No, of course we didn't. Um, I can, as a bonus action, burn a spell to heal myself. And... Heal for what? One hit point? Three hit points. Wow. I guess there's no plus on that, so it's a straight D8. Which isn't great, but sure. set up with this. I mean, we still have to touch for this to land. We could do some heals and things, but... Secret fan, better odds? No, 50-50. Okay, I'll go here, because even if we roll minimum, it'll die. And there's no attack of opportunity stuff happening here, so... But we'll miss, because of course we'll miss. Why not? Oh, I could have tried to shove here first! back into the fire. Dang it! Oh! I may have to re-off the API key. Hold on, let me let me do that. That's a good point. Because it says... Uh, no, no, it must be working. Right? I'm clearly... I've got the Twitch integration. Unless, maybe... You know what? Let me re-add the Baldur's Gate companion because it was there before. Let me trash this completely. No, again, that's the, the Twitch integration, which clearly works. Yeah, the drops should all just go. I don't know. Oh, well. There's been no no drops in, or enabled notification, which I know I've gotten from other streams in the past. Yeah, some, some things just glitched. And people watching YouTube are just going to be like, these MFers are doing nothing but talking about drops and confusing people. I did just relink my Larian account, so it's not that. I will no longer address drops. Done. 10 damage. See, if they crit, they can just take you out in one go. Terrible. Bear form can't, uh, can't shove, which is too bad. Need to stay focused. You fight well. Perhaps our survival isn't such a distant prospect. No time to rest. Oh, I still talk. Ooh, intellect devour cerebellum. Alchemical ingredient. Nice. Leads to psychic resistance. Interesting. All right, let's go ahead and do a short rest here. Get some HP back. Maybe I should do it twice, actually. We're pretty badly hurt. Welcome, rest. There we go. Yeah, could change the prepared time spells any time outside of combat. That's crazy! Very convenient, I suppose. But crazy. 
It's interesting it says the rapier damage is so high, but I guess it's because it's using my bear form strength. Right? Which is 19. Open up. Oh, there's a dead mind flare. Hold on. Rawr. We got ourselves some little grenades that we can toss. Any lootables up there? Looks like no. So there's another dead mind flare over here, so let's take a look at that. I don't think the skull is anything, but we'll take it anyway. All right, so we can't go through that door, which is fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down um, south over here and try to clear out some of this area. So yeah, this way, west, south. But I think while in bear form, I don't know that I'm still getting my bonus movement from the wood elf. I would assume not. Might be useful. And I think that means if you're playing a druid from one of the short races that have a lower movement, that's not going to bother you when you're in um, animal form. Good thing I can still collect all these plants. Oh, a lock trunk. That's this pathing. Pretty terrible. Can I force an attack on this? Rawr! Leather helmet. Gold. Um. Leather helmet. Oh, plus one to deck saving throws. Interesting. Hey, Will, pay attention. There's a new subscriber. Yeah, I'll whack that on. Oh, can I not change outfits right now? Yeah. It's interesting. So it still has the equipment listed, but it's not just ignoring it. But the Skull is real latest Quill BG2 playthrough, Andrew. Yeah, we collected a bunch of uh, skulls and bones on our playthrough. Balsam? I didn't realize Balsam just, just looks like a tiny little herb there. I think sometimes, uh, well, some things are unsmashable, and I think it's possible sometimes that you lose the loot. Um, now, here's an interesting thing. Does being able to speak with animals change this? No, because I guess the boar just runs away right away. I need some help. I have a vague memory of this. This can I talk to you in bear form? I assume the answer is no. Hurry. I've got one of those brain things cornered. There. Oh, it's, it's just gonna pick shadow. You can kill it, I guess it goes to the closest talkable companion. Okay. You can kill it, can't you? Like you kill the others? You know what? I think Shadowheart would say, easily, stand back. There. Can you see it? Just a dumb boar. You're relieved. Until you see the flash hmm. of a dagger. Oh! If you make your perception check, he doesn't actually jump on you with the knife. Okay. There's so many things. They really did a good job in this game to have skill checks do something. That's nice. If I remember correctly, Neverwinter Nights, the first one, really didn't do a lot with um, with um, ability checks in the first game, which was very disappointing, but I think the sequel added a ton more. I think Shadowheart would say this. If this is a robbery, you're off to a bad start, elf. I just need information. I saw you scuttling about on the ship. You're in league with them, aren't you? Those tentacle... Ah! Yes, here's the thing. I wanted Dolores to be the party face, but that's not going to work out so much if he's bare form all the time. ...prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. <laughs> what was that? What's There's a going... black mark on the back of her hand. Stigmata? No, it's the Mind Flayer's worm. It connects us. Connected us. The worm. Of course. That explains things somewhat. Yeah, maybe it's damage left over from the previous fight. I was ready to decorate the ground with your innards. 
Apologies. <laughs> apology accepted. I might have done the same for roles reverse. Glad we're all caught now. You're better off for more than apologies. Now, I think sort of a sarcastic, like, glad we're all caught up now. Indeed we are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. Oh, you are seeing the drops on the drop page getting credit for watching. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks, it's sisters. Maybe there's just, it's not just, it's just not UIing properly on the stream, but it's still counting. I don't know. Oh, I, damn it. You made me talk about drops when I said I would not address drops anymore. Curses. Um, I don't think Shadowheart would tell us, uh, tell the story. She would just say, she would say her name though, Shadowheart. A pleasure. So, do you know anything about these worms? I know we got to get rid of them. Who's got some uh, ivermectin around, right? That's the anti-parasitic that maybe some people are using for something else that was dumb. Um, yeah, they're totally going to turn us into mind flares. It's super bad, bro. Turn us into... <laughs> of course. Oh, you got a little something on your neck. A monster. What else did I expect? Although... It hasn't happened yet. If we can find an expert, so totally not a vampire. Things, there might still be time. And he just has very pronounced canines for no reason whatsoever. And the, the pale complexion, it's that whole Belladonna thing. That's all it is. So again, thinking as Shadowheart here. Yeah, I think she's she's definitely on board. Like, we need to get rid of it. At some point, I'm going to make a playthrough of this probably as like a power hungry mage or something like that. And they might be like, hold on, hold on. Let's not rush to get rid of it, you know? Yeah, we need to get rid of it. Well, yes, of course. But first things first. Mm hmm. Well, um, yeah, you should travel with me. Our odds are better together. Forgive me. But are you really in a position to invite people along? But if the leader of your little band wants to talk, oh! I'd be happy to hear it. He's reacting to the, the fact that Shadowheart's not actually the main character. That's so interesting. All right, fine. I won't be a bear for a little while. I like how he recognizes the authority of the bear. <laughs> Seems like a good moment to talk. Oh, hello again. Hello, ass Tarion. As are you. Perhaps we should travel together. You know, I was ready to go this alone, but maybe sticking with the herd isn't such a bad idea. And you seem like a useful person to know. All right. I accept. Lead on. Decided no druid for me in the first Donnie. Yeah, I mean, I can sort of see, like, the druid is super powerful. And I mean, when we're in towns and stuff, I won't be in bear form. It does it does hurt a little bit to pop in and out of the bear form for interactions in the wilderness. But Keep a anyway, Asterion, let's take a look at you. Oh, see his crouch. I thought it was a character sheet. So it's a high elf rogue with great decks. Lots of, lots of odd numbers. This is unoptimized. Um... Dark Vision, Elvin, da da. Nothing about being a vampire in any way whatsoever. There you go. He's totally not a vampire. I don't know what you guys are talking about, you know? I was, I was looking through here for his, uh, to see his weapon proficiencies. I've been playing a lot of Baldur's Gate 2 still, so. All right, level up. Now, this does become quite interesting. Um, because one could leave you with one level of rogue and multi-class into fighter or something like that to get better combat. Maybe like a two-level fighter dip for action surge, which is very powerful. On the other hand, that will delay progression of um, backstabs and things like that. I'm very likely going to generally leave people as single class in their current thing without doing any any funky, you know, trickery shenanigans or anything like that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to keep leveling up as a rogue, but it's interesting to consider. So we will accept. All right, you get all your bonus action cheap moves, which is good. Mostly a whole lot of hit points, and that's all there is.
All right. What now? Yes. Oh, I didn't actually mean to click on you. Tell me about yourself. Oh, what's to tell? I'm a magistrate back in the city. It's all rather tedious. Uh, all right. <laughs> I thought I was telling him to leave, but no, just ending the conversation. That's good. Um, I was going to do something. Oh, yes. Let's make sure Shillelagh's up. We're not going to bear form right now. Moving ahead. So we can't move any further west. Wait, is that a lootable? I mean, I don't know how we'd get down there unless we get some teleport stuff. Nice landscape, though. I mean, that's really pretty. There, so much effort went into this game. They really didn't have asses. There, a mind flayer. Oh, thank you. Yes, leather cap. Unless it looks stupid. I mean, it's not great. Can you hide? I think you can. There's a... Right there. No. Is there an option to just hide the helmet? Because, yeah, I can toggle off all my armor. I'm sure there was. The eye above the helmet slot. Oh, when you mouse over it. Thank you. I'm like, there was something. Okay, it's so now to hide during dialogues. No, I want it hidden all the time. Yeah. At least for this. Some helmets we might show. This one, no. All right. Let's deal with this downed mind flare. You approach the dying monster. This is the thing that abducted you. You could end its life here and now. If only you didn't feel compassion. Compassion. Given to the emotion, this isn't right to step away. No, you should be furious, shouldn't you? I'm going to go with three. Yes, you feel hate and you deserve to be punished for it. Wait a minute. You should be whipped, made to bow before this creature in shame. It's possessing you. I think even kills you, doesn't it? Forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. We can try to overcome it with an intelligence check, although it's a good chance it'll fail. Oh yeah, that's right. We can get guidance from Shadowheart. So it's redundant here. If we're going to keep Shadowheart in a party, we really only need one of the two of us to have access to guidance, in which case I'd probably want to leave it on Shadowheart because if we enter conversations with me in bear form, I won't be able to provide guidance at that point. So when we do the respec thing, I'll probably respec out of guidance for myself. Wow. Game. Rude. You try to break through, but its mind is impenetrable. With a last surge of defiance, it slaps your efforts away. Shh. The monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate man. Anyone feel like sushi? <laughs> nope. We gotta we gotta close those eyes forever. Yeah. Monster. Death is too good for it. Hey, let's see how many skulls I can collect. So, we got some elevated areas over here. I'm just scanning for maybe some lootables. All right, I didn't see anything at a glance. Let's head southwest again, because I'm not sure what's over there. Skulls for the skull throne, yeah. Maybe we can use it in some sort of crafting. Oh, is it just loop around here? Okay. Little squeaky sounds. I don't see any little wildlife. If it was, I could talk to it. So I can go up that way, but we're gonna go here because I know there's an encounter over in this direction. Dead goblins over there. Worth checking for supplies, maybe. 
And next. Oh, someone asked about the green item I picked up. It's a potion of speed. Uncommon item, potion of speed. The birds, they're mocking you. They're like, yeah, you can't shapeshift into a flying creature. That's interesting. I know that O is the toggle for the tactical mode, but there must be another hotkey for it because I inadvertently entered it there, but I don't know what it is. Tactical mode, just like overhead camera. What's coming on with that room? Looks unstable somehow. Bird wants the worm in your head. Approach the sigil on the stone. Magic glitters and swirls from it erratically, as if malfunctioning. It looks slightly dangerous. You know we have to touch it. Things D D characters wouldn't do. Touch the weird black glowing sigil. A hand? Anyone? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Slap the hand. High five the hand. New strength, druid wisdom. Let flow some words of prayer to soothe the sigil's magic. <laughs> Just a high five, Gale. Perhaps I should have clarified. Mm? A helping hand. Anyone? <laughs> All right. Let flow some words of prayer to soothe the sigil's magic. I wonder what happens if we fail. We just lose Gale. Dead NPC companion. Whatever you're doing is working wonders. Now a quick little pull should do the trick. So nothing of how you'd be lost. I'd consider playing a wizard just because in the early access that I played, I wasn't too keen on Gale at the time. I thought, well, if I'm a wizard, I don't need him. Oh. Is that what a wizard hand is? I'm Gale of Waterdeep. Apologies. I'm usually better at this. Hmm. At introductions? At not wasting time passing adventures? No, I mean, I think for us and what the lures is, no need to apologize. Are you all right? A bit shocked, but friend, it's a relief and a pleasure to make your acquaintance. Pull his finger. Say, but I know you, don't I? In a manner of speaking. You were on the Norse Lloyd as well. Wow, oh, this is a busy... Norse Lloyd was a busy place. Never mind the Lloyd. How'd you get stuck in that stone? Don't trust this man. Draw your weapon. Can confirm the companions are definitely killable. There may have been an incident involving Shadowheart above the Norse Lloyd and a certain multiplayer person picking some pockets and triggering some battle. I don't know what transpired exactly, but the ship broke into pieces and I suddenly found myself in freefall. As I was plummeting to certain death, I spied a glimmer quite near where I estimated my body to impact with less than savory propulsion. Recognizing this glimmer to be magical in nature, I reached out to it with a weaving of words and found myself on the other side, as it were. How about you? How did you survive the fall? I have no idea. I thought my head was going to be cracked open like a me melon. Took control of the ship, landed and safely saved the day. Survived the solid matter. No, to be honest, I haven't a clue. Fair enough. But even so, I have the unfortunate suspicion your survival is still very much in jeopardy. A I wizard did it. You two were on the receiving end of a yeah, I think he does look different. I think they've like made him a little bit more uh, rugged, roughed up. Are you not? They might have changed his voice acting lines as well to be... I think, I think he's less annoying, but I might be wrong about that. Uh, yeah, no, yes, the eye thing was terrible. I couldn't have phrased it more repellently myself. No use sugarcoating it, is there? The insertee we speak of, this parasite, are you aware that after a period of excruciating gestation, it will turn us into mind flayers? Yep. It's a process known as ceramorphosis. Oh, we didn't know the name before. I assure you, 
It is to be avoided. <laughs> you don't happen to be a cleric by any chance, do you? I mean, Not we're we've got a druid and a cleric in the party, but yeah, we can't do anything about it. Handily adroit with a knitting needle. You seem to know enough about our condition to oh. realize it's beyond most cleric skills. Most, no doubt. But I find myself hoping to be in the presence of the few. You don't happen to be one of them. Uh, I was going to ask you the same question. Can't say amen. Druid, I can tend to basic wounds and ailments, but alien parasites, I'm afraid not. I mean, if you've got a class-based option, you're going to go for it, right? As we've established, few enough can. It's not exactly a common affliction. We're most certainly going to need a healer, and soon, too. How about we lend each other a helping hand once more and look for a healer together? Yeah, great. It is unfortunate they didn't do the preload. They said they couldn't do the preload while, like, the early access is available, but I'm surprised they didn't, like, like pull the plug on the early access, like, 48 hours before release or something so that they can enable a preload um, at that time instead and get people kind of ahead of things. But, because, yeah, it's a big, chunky download. Yeah, no, I mean, totally join us. We're just going to keep making friends. We all got the same problem. We're all looking for the same solution. Let's do it. Most excellent. Parasite shared is a parasite halved, <laughs> or something to that effect. <laughs> oh, but before you think you're about to embark on a journey with most ill-mannered... He's, he's giving me, um, Thank you. Varric energy you from Legend of Korra. It's an act of you know? Kindness, I assure you. For I have the feeling ample... Someone else, too. Can't place it. ...present themselves for me to return the favor. All right. Yeah, let's give you the level up. Wizard 2. Specialization available. So, there are specializations available here. I think in the early access, it was just Abjuration and Evocation, I think. But now we can specialize in a variety of different categories. Is it default to Evocation for Gale? Which I think is probably a good idea because... Yeah. Um, sculpt Spell. Sculpt spell means if we use an area of effect spell, um, although this is only evocation spells specifically, um, but allies uh, automatically succeed their saving throw against those spells and take no damage from them. So he can use his area of effect spells on a group that includes us. Yeah, friendly fireball, exactly. Which seems stupendously good. Transmutation. You can brew two alchemical solutions instead of one when combining extracts, when you make a medicine check. Hmm. Uh, improved illusion. Cast minor illusion as a bonus action. Ah. Divination portent. Your dreams grant you a glimpse that let you influence the future. After each long rest, you gain two random portent dice. During the day, you can use a reaction to change the die of any attack roll or saving throw rolled near you to one of your portent dice. So whether you rolled high or low on these doesn't matter because you can always use the low ones to screw over your enemies. Enchantment. Enchantment. Hypnotic Gaze, Charm and Incapacity Creature. Okay. Uh, it gets to create water as a conjuration. Not create and destroy, just create. Necromancy. Grim Harvest. Once per turn, if you kill a creature with a spell, you regain hit points equal to twice the spell slot level used. Thrice if it's a necromancy spell. Ooh, I love being able to say thrice. And Abjuration. Residual magic of your spells forms a ward around you that protects you from harm. So temp HP, I guess, when you cast. It says spells. In the early access, did this only trigger on abjuration spells? Because I feel like this the arcane ward in early access was quite poor. That's all of a sudden quite tempting for a lot of temp, temp HP. But we're going to go evocation because it's a pain in the butt to use AoEs otherwise. So we've gained two spells. Um, it would be really handy if this could be filtered by type, but here's Burning Hands the evocation. Now, Gale's not going to want to get up close and personal too often. On the other hand, with his perk, Burning Hands is so much more viable. So much more viable. Uh, what does he already know? Hold on. Prepared spells. So he knows Mage Armor, Fog Cloud, Grease, Sleep, Witch Bolt, which is an evocation spell, but it's not an AoE. We're throwing in Burning Hands. Oh, sorry. He's already got Thunder Wave. Okay, if we've got Thunder Wave, we really don't need Burning Hands. Burning Hands does do more damage. Um, Thunder Wave's got a pushback, but it does like supply the sort of shorter range AoE kind of vibe. 
Oh, they do target different saves. I'd probably prefer Burning Hands to Thunder Wave, but if we've already got it... Um... Yeah, okay. I, I like the damage of Chromatic Orb, but you do have to roll to hit, whereas Magic Missiles always hits. You know, it's hard to argue with the consistency of Magic Missile. I think in Early Access, Expeditious Retreat wasn't a concentration spell. I think it just worked until Long Rest, period. But I might be wrong. Uh, False Life is still the same way. It gives you temp HP until short rest. Featherfall is interesting. Like, in a real uh, campaign, I would always be running Featherfall. I'm just not sure how useful it is in this. Um, but it might be really important, but I don't know. We got Find Familiar, we got Ice Knife, Enhanced Leap, Long Strider. Oh! I'm getting confused between Expeditious Retreat and Long Strider. Long Strider is the one that's not concentration and just increased your movement all the time. Hideous Laughter is really fun. Um... Interesting. Shield says until long rest, but it's also a reaction. Shield normally is just, yeah, basically one round worth of increased AC. Maybe you can precast it as opposed to just a reaction, in which case maybe it just protects you from the next attack until the new long rest. It's a little bit weird, but we're going to grab it because especially it can be loaded as a reaction which means it'll auto get cast when it does it. I'm, I'm thinking work once and then go away. I'm, I'm thinking it's worded this way because with the game engine the way it is, you can probably pre-cast it. But we won't have to because we'll just use it as reaction. So there we go. That seems fine. Now, what are we going to prepare for him? Uh, Grease is hilarious, but I'm going to go ahead and drop it. In fact, let's go in. I mean, we probably want a mage armor. Shield. Magic Missile, Asleep. We don't need... Uh, here's the thing. I guess I already have Witch Bolt, so maybe I don't need Magic Missile, but I hate missing with my spells. We can respec later, yeah. Bog is nice, really. It does blind. But I'm wondering about a Thunder Wave to knock back people if we do get it up close. I mean, these are pretty straightforward. Maybe I could just drop Sleep. Oh, sleep... I mean, Baldur's Gate 1 has me so conditioned with the fact that Sleep is insanely OP. But you know what? Maybe I do like that. We can drop the fog on distant archers that are causing us problems. Unless I take sleep instead of thunder wave. Oh, man. It's tough, and I like it. Uh, yeah, I think bench companion is still getting experience. I think basically you, you level up as a party. But I'm not sure. Yeah, we do want an AoE. You're right. We want, I do want thunder wave. You're, you, yeah. You're absolutely right. So I guess it's mostly Fog Cloud versus Sleep. Oh, here's the thing. We can just sleep archers at a distance. And we can also use this quite close. Yeah, Chromatic Herb is great damage. You do have to hit. And, you know, this way, with, with at least with Magic Missile, we can't get XCOM'd. Now, we can change our memorizations whenever you want, but... <laughs> yeah, the, the companions, uh, went, like Asterion and Gale, like, they instant leveled up as soon as they joined. I think all the XP is synced up. All right, we now have a full party. Let me, I don't think there's anything over here, but technically we haven't explored this tiny little area. Oh, there's another dead man flare to loot. No traps, please. Another potion of speed. All right. A full party? Is it not party of four? Is it? Party of five, like the old sitcom? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, I know we can fight Lazale. Like, yeah, we're, we're going to totally find Lazale here. Um, but I meant full party as in we have uh, the full party size. If we get any more, I think we have to send them to a camp. That's what I meant. Mm -hmm. Chapel entrance. So do we want to do this before Lazale? Is it the party I want to go with? Yeah, that is okay. Might be worth checking if you've got any scrolls worth teaching Gale. Oh, that's an interesting question. Um, 
actually... Wait, what do the scrolls look like in this game? Do we have any? We have the scroll of Revivify, which is different. I don't think we've got any, like, teachable spell scrolls. You know what I should do? This. Because I'm proficient in the short bow. I wasn't proficient in the crossbow. But Asterion is proficient in the crossbow. Uh, light crossbow is a rogue thing. It's fine. So we'll do this. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Scribing scrolls cost money. Half price for... Uh, you here. Half price if it's evocation for him. Hmm. What's that? Wait. Survival check. Oh! I'll give it a shot. I found a dirt mine mound, but hope of I, I need a shovel. shovel. Let's keep an eye out for a shovel and remember that by the uh, above the ancient door, there's a diggable. Of course, I want to be rich, but not. So of course we're gonna assume that these people are, are probably friendly, right? Sure, we'll just walk in. You can dig in bear form. Hmm. Just staring the rapier as well. What's he using right now? Oh, a dagger. I think it's saying that I. I think it's looking at me not being proficient. Let's see if I do this and do that. Yeah, there we go. Okay, thank you. Yeah, that'll definitely increase his damage. And he looks quite suave with it. Um. I just load up my inventory here because we can sort say by type here. Oh, wrong person. What to do? Sort by type. Dagger, goblin bow. I guess I could use that as well. Goblin bow just seems to be a short bow. Okay. I would do more damage with the scimitar than the quarterstaff. Am I getting, like, double my strength penalty because it's a two-handed weapon? Oh, it's a finesse weapon! Dexterity! All right. Yeah, which actually, but then, uh, then I can't shillelagh. I want to keep a quarterstaff or a club because then I can shillelagh. So, yeah, never mind. Okay. I don't think I realized uh, scimitars were finessable. That's quite cool. Moving in. Hello. You what y'all doing over here? As tall as me, but I'm off the bloody backbone. But we don't know what that thing even is. And what about the crypt? I'm telling you, it's a ship, and the crypt can wait. Oh yeah, dual wielding. Mary and Barton have been trying to break in for days. Now we stop. Got ourselves competition already. That's our ship. You pronounce it Shiliglig? <laughs> I like Shiliglig. That's great. I mean, no harm just looking around. I mean, that's true. But also, the ship is full of monsters. I mean, we killed a bunch of them, but the ship is full of monsters. I think that ship's an invasion force. Run while you can. The only thing you own is your own life, Lee, before I take that too. No, I mean, we're going to... It's persuasion, but it's also true. I mean, more or less. I would not recommend going near this ship. It's full of bad stuff. Oh! Got it. Why is everyone except the wizard and the lady who left an elf? <laughs> okay, that's true. There do seem to be a lot of elves going on here. Uh, Although Shadowheart's a half elf, in that case, and Asterion no point in getting killed. is, is an ex elf. And all. Um, second mouse gets the cheese. No. Nobody's getting any damn cheese. Now move it. <laughs> I love how raging Gimelgot gets. So we could have fought them all for some XP. Cunning the new look. I thought we had a fight on our hands. But we still got some XP for overcoming this. And it's fine. If you want to see me kill a whole bunch of people, just watch my Baldur's Gate 2 Evil to the Corp Let's Play. Or the Baldur's Gate 1 Insanely Evil Let's Play. You know, either one of those would work. I still want to do this because it's just fun, right? If you got a chance to do, like, environmental damage and stuff. I'm sorry. How did that hit you? I know you were close, but... 
Come on. I did not think she was in the splash zone. So that's the thing, if you're doing fights, or even if you do a sneak up, you can do that. Well, shoot. And out of combat, the healing word's not that great, but I didn't I didn't want a short rest right now. I wonder what the next move is. Alright, let's call that good enough. Yee. Dang. Yeah, I really maybe it's everyone inside the square takes the damage. That might be the hitbox for that. Is that blood? No, that blood. Never mind. I'm sorry. Twisting vines? Interesting. Okay, did I click the plaque? Did I get distracted? Time and the elements have left oh. the plaque unreadable. Oh, there's a box up here. Let's go and take a look. Anyone still downloading? Probably a lot of people. What happens when you don't kill innocent people? You're right. I should have just killed them and then wouldn't have that problem. Hey! They said no one would get cheese! There's clearly cheese! Come on! Can I shove a box? Hee hee hee! And yet, you can also move things around. Anyone who's played Divinity Original Sin is used to this kind of thing. The ladder up and down there, but there doesn't seem to be anything over there. Oh, burlap sack and a backpack. Rope. I wonder if it's used for any contextual stuff. These tool. Right. Labels you to open locks based on the sleight of hand check. The tool breaks an unsuccessful attempt. I feel like we should give those to Asterion. Although, maybe maybe there's like shared, shared party inventory for that. I guess we could check. There's the thieves' tools there. Does Asterion have any in his inventory? He does. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send those to, to Delours, and when we try to pick a chest open, we'll see if it works or not. No I may have to pass it back and forth. Because there's not even shared gold in this game, so... Knock, knock, knock. What do you give a book? Everything all right out there? <laughs> Performance check. Yeah, it's me! Let me in! Gimbalbach triggered some trap. He needs help now. What would we do here? Again, we don't tend to we don't tend to bully people. We don't tend to lie too much. But yeah, I mean, he ran. Your friends abandoned you. Here, you know what? Let's start a community poll and see how it works. Bum, bum, bum. So presumably, yeah, it's for it's in the overlay. Nice. So you should be able to hit some boutons. Oh, oh, that two is proving popular. Oh, then the performance check coming up ahead. Feels like a feels like a race. But I think uh, the Verstappen option is going to pull this one off here. Mm -hmm. I, don't, I don't know if you type or you just I think you just click on your screen. Yeah, you just click on the screen. I mean, unless typing also works. OK, there's no time limit. There you go. All right, let's do this. Yeah, blood always were a bit soft, but I've got plenty of friends who ain't soft. Come in here and you can meet them. Oh, I love meeting new people. So we didn't fool them. Okay, so if I pull back, if I grab Asterion and ask him to lockpick. Easy. Okay, smooth use tool. It's clear we got four, so it does pull from the entire party. Yeah, it's low difficulty as well. No interaction there. And yeah, he's got his um he's got expertise as a rogue, so he's getting to add his proficient twice. Oh yeah, you know what? I haven't actually checked on people's skills. That's an excellent point. Um So Shadowheart has got history, religion, uh, as tagged as the um like the proficient skills, although because she has, yeah, an intelligence of 10. I was going to say no intelligence. That's not fair. Intelligence is 10. It's only a plus two and a plus two. She does have fantastic insight, fantastic medicine. The medicine is really going to be a standout. And yeah, it looks like she doesn't start with sleight of hand. Well, Asterion's got acrobatics, sleight of hand, stealth, huge numbers, perception as well. I mean, so many skills, but welcome to being a rogue, right? 
and as a half elf as well, you get uh, some extra stuff. Gale is going to supply the Arcana History Investigation insight, a little bit of persuasion, and yeah, I provide some of the chit chat skills. It's nice that it's organized by stat here. It'd be great if in the character builder it grouped things up maybe by stat, but it's not a big deal. But yeah, we've basically picked up all the wisdom skills. We've also got the best persuasion in the party on uh, the second best stealth. And presumably you can go in cat form. So it has been implied that there's going to be a combat on the other side. It's like, I don't know why we're running in just going to murder people, but listen, we're going to go in. We're just planning to talk, except I'm I might I might be in bear shape when we do it. Stealth bear. They'll never see it coming. I mean, I could go stealth cat. Takes the shape of the cat can avoid attention and meow to distract enemies. It has two hit points. I could I could snoop a boot as cat form. You know, if this were a pen and paper D&D campaign, that's what they would try. They're like, we'll we'll find a spot or just open the door a crack and a cat will come through. It's just a cat. But yeah, I think we'll have a conversation in bear form is what's going to happen. There's a meow button. Here, we could quick save and see what happens. Yeah, let's try it. Let's go to cat form and see what happens. Oh, we're so cute. Oh, we're like a fluffy. Are we a Persian? A rag doll? Not a rag doll. So we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own port. I remember this from the A. If you're shape shifted and you start a conversation at a party, it drops a shape shift for the conversation, but I don't think it actually kicked us out of it. I need to stay at camp for a while. Managed to pick up a wizard who, yeah, who managed to get stuck in his own portal. Hardly a promising introduction. And then, yeah, we're back in cat form. It didn't actually shift us in and out. <laughs> oh, it's cat form has no hit points. Oh, what do I think the whole party's going to follow me in. Hey, Quill, hey, okay, we haven't started. Hold on. Oh, I probably could have ungrouped and not have them come in. I think they're still following you right now. Oh, no, they're not. Oh, no, they are. So toggle group mode off. There, now they're not following me. And yeah, with the mouse cursor, we can see the light of different places fully lit over there. Light on my feet. I love how like I'm all crouched down, ears back, down to the ground. So this place is clear. There's a vision cone. So the question is, do I get instantly spotted when I go through the vision cone or not? Or does it still do? Is this where the stealth check comes in? You say yes, you do. So where's the stealth check? Like, where's the roll? No stealth check. No, that's when it's here. We're, we're, we're doing this for science. I'll probably reload from the quick save from before the cat farm. We're just doing this to like see things. Initiative. Hiding successful. Received condition hiding. Lost condition hiding. Succeeded a hiding check against Sephri. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to end my turn now and see if they attack. And we're going to reload from the quick save in a sec. We need to know how these mechanics work. If I just hit end turn, is anyone going to attack the kitty? The answer is yes. Okay. Well, now we know. Oh, I don't think that's save I want to load, actually. This is the auto save from when we entered. You're dead. Yeah. One, two. Yeah, just outside before I go into cat form. Yeah, who attacks a cat? Come on. Rude. You know, we could go rest. It's just heal Shadow Heart, but no. Let's go in. <laughs> yeah, maybe I had to succeed stealth against all of them, and I missed. Don't want to draw any attention. 
attention. Now, are you closer to the door? You know what I'm thinking? Look at this radius. What now? Leave no tracks. No, it's the same, the vision cone. I thought maybe the size, like the length of the vision cone might change based on your stealth. Oh, shift C is group stealth. Okay. Group on stealth. Just like and then I think if you just hold shift, yeah, I was gonna say if you just hold shift, you always get the vision cones there. So step quick. The air's stale. It's been centuries since any prayers disturbed it. Who are those prayers for? Yeah, it looked smaller, but it could be that they pace back and forth. But no, I think it was smaller in cat form. Let's see. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Oh, I can't put the lid on the milk can. I'm so sad. I like how we can put out the candles, though. Because light is an important part of this game. Forward. Oh, these are worth a few books. <laughs> These books are worth a few bucks. The Curse of the Vampire. Wow. I mean, that's not going to be relevant to us because we don't know any vampires, but you know, we'll grab some random books and sell them later. They're not too heavy. They're like half a weight unit. Got cutting boards. Oh yeah, that's right. You can drop in from the hole above, can't you? No, I'm trying to get the cheese wedge. Mmm, sausage links. Bag of holding. More cheese. Some interesting pathing to get to these things. Supply pack, are you coming around again? <laughs> Alright. Uh bottle. Prepare for wine. I mean, I want wine. Yeah. Pot and quill. Well, I gotta take quills. Portrait of Fane. Wait a minute, Fane! Excruciatingly precise lines bring this portrait's undead subject to life. Despite his empty eye sockets, you can almost swear he case follows you, judgmentally. Fane, one of the best companions from Divinity Original Sin 2. Lever for the door, but it's already open. Mm-hmm. If you leave your party down there and drop in from bear form. Where's Gimbalbot and the others? This is a tricky choke point to take this on. You're not first in magic, oh, are I you? I want to select you, but okay. Of course I am. Nature guides me. Oh, I do apologize. I meant to ask, are you studied in magic? What a snob. Namely, are you a wizard? Which you are not. If you meet any elder wizards, let me know. There is a matter I'd like to seek advice on from a master. Gatekeeping magic? Come on. There are explosive barrels over there. Yeah, I mean, maybe a drop from above. Is that what the debris is here? Is that the drop spot? Or this one here? We'd be right in melee right away. But I'm worried we'd take falling damage. So, you know, six of one, half a dozen. Can't give up now. I don't know why we'd attack these people, other than I know that's, that's just the only outcome over here. Well, I mean, they'll start it. I'll just, you know, they'll just be a bear. If they decide to attack me. Oh, you see an explosive barrel in this room? I don't see it. Entangle under warby maybe. Now we might be able to bait them to come through the door instead. I'm okay with tanking the damage in bear form here. Oh, 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 oh never mind. You're gonna shoot through me and go after Gale. Yeah, I'm just gonna swing my arms and walk forward. They get punched their own fault. Exactly. Ready. Not 
after 10 turns, huh? Move forward first. Well, close the door. Um, that's interesting. We could dash up here and try to close the door. Blood in the air. And uh, uh, then they would be forced to come up, but I don't think it would change our situation much, actually. Yeah, range sneak attack would be enjoyable. Their cover does make this quite annoying. Let's move here, get line of sight. I'm going to magic missile their spellcaster. Which could kill them, but I'd have to roll very high. Oh, you, you can individually target the missiles. Excellent. I was wondering about that. One shot, one kill. Well, technically it was three shots, but we still got the one kill. Why don't you uh, move back over here, buddy? Okay, you got your shield reaction preloaded. That's good. If I dash and use my bonus action, is my reaction still up? I think so. So I could move to here and then catch people who are running through if they're looking to avoid things. But on the other hand, if I just move here... Fifty percent of the time, it works every time. Fall, damn you. <laughs> All right! That works too! He didn't die, but jeez! Step quick. Okay, we are murdering these people. I mean, totally self-defense. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> to be fair, they did shoot us first. No, we're not running karmic dice. Running here, we would draw an attack of opportunity, so we're not going to do that, but we will... Can I not move here? Am I... Is it weird because I'm, like, super big here? Are we having size issues? Maybe. Yeah, I can't shove in bear form, which does seem odd. But I can jump. It'd be great to get in base-to-base -base contact over here, but... Oh, it is going to generate an attack of opportunity here, though. That makes sense, because I'm leaving his threatened zone. So I'll just do this. Because we want to invite the attacks against Dell here, because we have the, the Druid double hit point bar. Ah, there you go. Mario is range attacking Gale. Needs 11 to hit. They roll the 14. I will cast Shield and deflect the hit. So it is just one hit, as opposed to lasting for one round as a reaction, but that's fine. Like the hit rate's not great here. Would it be better with the firebolt? No. Oh, disadvantage, of course, because we are in melee. I think we'll just go ahead for the attack. Oh, I could try to inflict wound. How many hit points you got? Quite a few. So we'll try to do this. I'm not sure if we miss the melee if it wastes the spell. Oh, the AC bonus does persist. Okay, the visual didn't. All right, but we landed it. Oh my god, that ant! Okay, the cause wound is a pretty serious kill spell. Look at that. Disintegrated him. I'm gonna move uh, Shadowheart to cover here. Because she's already pretty injured. I'm ready. Shoot through the bear. And then again, break line of sight. We want to invite attacks on Dell. 
That is my role. Pawn to cleric four. I'm gonna use some more spells here because I think we're gonna rest relatively soon. Um, how many hit points you got? Ten. Yeah. D four plus one. Yeah, we'll unload them all here. There we go. And depending on the order of the, yeah, no, we needed all three to kill him. So, fine. Again, attempt to break some line of sight. So much for peace. So much for peace. Yeah, I just couldn't. I just couldn't bear it. Okay, I'm gonna run past here. Excellent. I don't know, really? I'm surprised. That's okay, because we can just... Well, again, I think I'm going to do a long rest in a second here, so we'll just prep a guiding bolt. I'm surprised that you're having kind of issues sorting out a smarter path here, but okay. Miss! Always great when you miss on a spell slot. Feel Feels great. See, that's why I pack magic missile. Um, can you do a stabby stab here? Because you should get sneak attack. Really, just out of movement. All right. Well, I'm going to get you to come into the room anyway. Don't linger. We could dash, but then we wouldn't be able to attack. Oh, wait, no, a rogue! Rogue can dash as a... No, it's still a... Can you do bonus action dashes? Does that show up somewhere different? There's the cunning action dash. Right about that. Well, I guess I can still do that now. Bonus action. And yeah, I do have to choose sneak attack. I remember seeing that. Oh my god, giant. Okay, there's a sneak attack. Giant lightning strike just now. So if I do a melee attack here, it's just going to do a normal one. Yeah, giant hit of thunder just went. We might have a power outage or something. That was a hit sneak attack. Mistra Rill. Oh my god, the house literally just shook from the thunder. Bump, bump. Um, I should have checked here. How kind of to hit modifiers are we getting? Okay, we're not getting a penalty from lighting or anything. We just rolled that. Okay. Blood comes easy these days. Aww. I have their range attacking there. Let's turn Aaron, we're just going to leave you here. Uh, sneak attack. Oh my god! Should be using karmic dice. Can't afford to let up. Chance there's a better chance with a sacred flame. No, much worse. The dance macabre. Uh, someone should get in base to base here, Moving. just because they want to do attacks or opportunity and stuff. So. Um, I don't think a shove does much for us right now. Our flank, our smart. Oh yeah, you already used your uh, primary action. Oh no, you don't. Hold on, fireball. There we go. All right. I was really worried because of the choke point, but that worked out pretty well. It helps that like Dell just is just so tanky. Oh, learning 
same spells. There you go. And it's key. Of course, some more thieves tools over there. Hold on a sec. Okay, that's a book, but yeah, scroll of burning hands. Ah, oh, which he already knows. All right. Journey through the jungle. Is that about the bare necessities? Sun had just fallen below the horizon when I first heard its call. A thousand reed pipes at once, whistling a single beautiful, terrible song. Ulu Thalong, said Ja. It's coming. Ja dropped her pack and scurried up the nearest bitter. With a bit more effort, I climbed a tree of my own, and the two of us surveyed the grassy air ground beneath. Awoo! There was again. Above and beneath and all around, so close my skull vibrated from the sound. The ferns and foliage under me rippled and swayed. Jay held a finger to her lips and demanded my silence, and in one motion it snatched her. A vine? A tentacle? It hardly mattered. The hunter had found its prey. Jaws scream... Right, Jaws from his name, okay. Jaws scream swelled, then faded as Ulu Thalong dragged her away. I leapt down to give chase, but the creature left no mark behind. The grasses were untrampled, the shrubs unbroken. I had only the memory of that harrowing call to guide me. Is there something we're going to meet later? Mm hmm. Have to keep going. Right, so this door is stuck, although you can batter it down. I like how we can, we can read just fine in bear form, you know? Dense rows of scrawled text. The few legible entries seem to detail names and final words of numerous individuals. Come see this! It's move. Majpinner, laboratory explosion. Hmm? Roth Cress, waylaid in a Neverwinter alley. You're blocking my light! Dana Ri, Water Davian, Featherlung. What's a Featherlung? You can read, but just barely. Oh, womp womp. to put my hands on everything. Chest with nothing in it. Come on. That's just the keys. A mirror. Oh, I can barely see myself in there. The mortal view. Eyewitness accounts of the ball spawn uh, crisis or saga. Ball, the ball spawn uh, saga is like the uh, it's Baldur's Gate, Baldur's Gate 1 and 2. The guild seal on the inside of the cover belongs to a printmaking collective in Baldur's Gate. I love the corpse is marked emptied. Yes, empty of life as well. Yeah. <laughs> of course I remember. Knew the second that girl was walking, she'd be trouble. Little thief always in everyone's business. I'm thinking they're talking about Imwin. And that ward of Gorion went right along with her. No surprise a wicked god's blood was running in their veins. Anonymous. Kindle Keep. wonder who that would have been. Saravok and his lot are always the first ones that come to mind. You know this all started with a bit of iron and Nashkel. Everyone thought their weapons would rot out their hands. Back then, I thought the problem was bad trade. Never took the man for a son of Baal. Omnian mercenary interviewed on his deathbed. You dare speak to me? My mistress was turned to ash fighting those forsaken wretches. I curse Baal. I curse Arenicus. I curse you. Hostile vampire. I've cut lost slums. Boulders get two stuff. The five tore Kethir to pieces. I don't think anyone expected more Bale spawns showing up would fix the war that a pack of them started. Then again, they were all inclined to killing each other, eh? Good riddance. Here's hoping every last one of them has been wiped off the face of Faerun. Sardush, mer merchant, retired. I'm not authorized to be talking about any murder with someone like you. Take it up with the Sea Tower if you want to argue. But honestly, who cares if Bale spawn gets got it stuck to them? Their father's a killing type, after all. I serve the flaming fist. Several hundred more interviews follow, most of them terse. Like, I like these rows of books, right? This, this to me, screams of, like, a dungeon master describes it like there's a bunch of books on the shelves, and the players are like, we want to read them all! And the dungeon master's like, um, um, you know, they're mostly just, they're just rotten and decay and illegible at this point. Yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah. It's not that I didn't have time to come up with enough lore or just couldn't be arsed. I don't know if it's worth grabbing those rags, but I'm gonna. Man, man over there reading without thumbs. You don't read with your thumbs. <laughs> I 
look it up. Feather lung is a disease. Oh, right. It was listed cause of death. It's like, is this some sort of um, um, profession or something? I guess we haven't read these, actually. Death. Oh, wait, what was the name of this book? I mean, I see if it, it marked red, like for the title, because we're finding multiple copies of things. Death and Divinity, A Godly Guide. Do you guys want me to read these or skip over them? Death is too powerful a force for even a single god to contain. It is a duty that has been passed from hand to hand, splintered into small pieces, disease, war, funeral rites. But there must always be an overseer of the cycle as life falls away. Read? Okay, good. I missed a corpse in the first room. Thanks, Sadist. I'll take a look. For countless aeons, it was Jurgle, the lord of the end of everything, presided over mortality with his unblinking stare, until even he grew wary. Young Baal, Bane, and Miracle must have thought themselves conquerors when they came for the god of death, yet he used their ambitions to free himself. Merkel claimed primacy over death from Jurgle's bargain. Hey, French true. But he, even, he does not rule death alone. What is murder, if not the most violent of deaths, seized by Baal and his incessant greed? What need would there be for noble Clemvor to judge passing souls if one deity could hold the process entire? Even gods can die, after all. Those who worship death should remember that above all else. All right, so this is the vampire one. Harken close and beware the vampire. Beware its cold beauty. Beware its charm. Beware its curse. Above all, beware the pale noble, for the vampire cannot bear to be of the common folk. How doth one protect from the beasts? Walk not in blackest night, for the vampire loves, I should say like vampire, loves these nights more than any other. If you must walk, do so by the light of our moon and take care. Carry the blessings and marks of your God at all time. But remember, your home is a fortress if protected well. If you hear a knock in the night, be wary. Let no stranger enter your home. If it be a friend, look upon them. Do you find them pallid and wan? Wayne? Wan. See you any mark upon their neck? See you any dirt upon their clothes? Unless their need is great, turn away all but the most trusted. And if the beast finds a way into your home, flee! Leave love and family behind. You will not save them if you fight. You will not see them again. But they will see you, pale and smiling, calling them into the night. All right, let's see here. Is there a corpse? Leave no corpse unlooted! Uh, empty, empty, empty. Oh, that's right! One of them followed us into that room. Oh, yeah, the one I frickin', like, turned to frickin' dust over here. Uh, boots, leather gloves, javelin, great club. All right. Random loot to sell. Do, 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 Boop, 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 boop. And in the early access, you could bash down this door, but you do find another way to get through. Oh, more stacks of books. Nope, nothing in there. Oh, what's over here? The Unclaimed. I don't think we've read that one. In life, her service had been impeccable. Daily did she devote herself to the Lady of Loss. Daily did she free herself from the tyranny of memory. All in time was lost to her. Her relations, her preferences, even her own name. Upon the altar of her devotion placed she the ultimate offering, her emptied mind. And when she died, when she awoke in death and found herself standing in the pale and faded city of judgment, she waited for the Lady of Loss to retrieve her. A million souls and more passed her in colorless gusts, but no hand materialized in her hand. No voice whispered instruction in her ear. No guidance proffered itself from the bleached and barren sky. Time, immaterial time, passed around her like air, coming and going. And still, the goddess did not come for her devotee. Kalemvor pitied her, as much as the Lord of Dead is able, but could not intervene. The Claire I've read a lot of the uh, Forgotten Realms uh, novelizations from back in the day, including, like, like Kalemvor and... Um, and uh, Midnight when they were in their human forms. Good stuff. This cleric of the Lady of Loss, unclaimed despite her worthiness, might yet have one more lesson to learn, that not of forgetting, but being forgotten. Damn. Death and Divinity, we read that one already. The Unclaimed, we just read. Curse of the Vampire. We've read that. And that one too. We sell them for a few bucks, so we may as well. Let's get some light up in here. Some little squeaky rats. Oh, we read that one. Oh, multiple copies of this book.
Maybe it was a bookstore. That's why they had multiple copies of things. Can I sit in bear form? Nope. Ah. Uh... Chapel records. Fine dust coats the pages of this weathered book. Beneath the bone white powder, hundreds of short obituaries are recorded in tiny script. Robion Tipple, Ilmater, drowning. Avon Arkinson, Ogma, internal rot. So this must be their, their patron deity. Deverin Stout, Saloon, fever. Salune? Saloon? I'd probably say Salune. There's a plaque over here. Um. No click? No clicky the plaque? Maybe I'll try it with another character here. Just gonna have the bear lighting everything. Hmm. Oh! What's that? A lever. Oh, I think that opens that locked door. You gotta touch the thing. That was a really freaky sound. It is a skull with like a scroll in its mouth. But of course we're gonna have to touch it. How could we not? Yeah. Gail. Is not around. Can you interact so with the plaque? Well. You do not recognize oh, there we the go. language on the plaque. Okay, what I think we're gonna do is we're gonna go to camp right now. And rest up. <laughs> Dangerous to touch strange objects with bare hands. Oh my god, demon act. <laughs> yeah, with the Twitch extension, can you look through the inventory and stuff? And let me know if like, oh, I'm not equipping the best weapon. Hmm. Reminds me, we got a double dual wheel here. Watch your back. How do we offhand? Maybe I can't do it right now in the camp. Two light weapons. You think? Maybe. Hmm. I even get the tooltips. Wow. Okay. I'm used to sort of 3.5-ish, which mostly the offhand had to be light. All right, well, let's drop out of bear form here. We can have some conversations. Wow. Light on my feet. And yeah, I love that we set up camp here. Like, in this place. Got a ball. I have a word. Oh, we'll grab it. Oh, it squeaked. Pick up the mugwort. Just doing a run around camp here. Then we'll we'll chat with people. Find out how they feel our first day of adventuring together is gone. She's got quite the setup. What is she trying to do with that? She's trying to solve it? Like a Rubik's Cube? No, she's just trying to smoosh it. We'll ask her about it in a second. I thought there was a... Yeah, there's a backpack over here. Okay. <laughs> twist it open. You gotta twist it. Bop it. Spin it. Flick it. There's a toy called, like... I think it was called Bop It. That had a commercial that said stuff like that. <clears throat> Shadowheart definitely solves the Rubik's Cube by disassembling it. <laughs> See, now, now I'm going to have to practice with my Rubik's Cube again. If, it's, if I go a, a month or two without doing it, I always forget the uh, the last couple of algorithms. All right, uh, Shadowheart, you need a you need a hand there? Also, try not to impale yourself on that thing. I don't remember those spikes being there. Hey, Quill, pay attention to this new subscriber. But apparently you can get hey, Gadget! From one. Gale seems interesting. You can get a wizard from a stone. Hey, yeah, um, <clears throat> so yeah, yeah, that Gale seems interesting, yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the story with that little artifact you got there? Inquiring minds want to know. 
There's no story. I do remember Skip it. You're entitled to hear My anyway. sister had one. Just forget you ever saw it. Um, where's the option of no? Okay. Uh, what do you think of all that's happened to us so far? We haven't gone all that far yet. What are you referring to exactly? She's got me there. But you must have thought about our little stowaways. I like that. Must I? Thinking about it won't help. We know what to do, so let's do it. Find a way to rid ourselves of these things. We've no solid leads right now. Yeah, I'll try to keep an eye on uh, We'd best get encumbrance. If you discover anything that might help us, I'm all ears. I'm assuming we'll get an audio clue when we get too, uh, too encumbered. Uh, what will you do if we actually manage to remove the tadpoles? I mean, live the rest of my long, long life? I suppose we Seems like a dumb question, but... Ways. Not a slight on your company, of course. Yeah, I mean, there's no reason at this point that we have any kind of relationship, so why wouldn't we separate? No reason for us to not stay together if we, if we get on well. Yeah, but where would you go? Home. Baldur's Gate. There's someone waiting for me there. Someone I have to reach. As soon as possible. Hmm. I mean, <laughs> we're just going to keep prying? Family? Friend? A lover? Hmm. I'm going to go with option two here. You know? Uh, I mean, as much as the expedition's good, it's like, it's early, right? Seems personal. I won't pry if it's not something you want to talk about. Thank you. And you're right. It's a delicate matter. Not something for light conversation. How am I holding up in your estimations? I must admit, you've been a surprise. It's a little early for this, but sure. You're not an unpleasant one. Kindred spirits are few and far between for me. Besides, you saved my life aboard the Nautiloid. How can I do anything but sing your praises? Yeah, this is such a different version of Shadowheart from the early access. Holy cow. Did they did they update her with this this, this version of the voice acting um at some point during early access? Or is it just this release version that's got this new this new take on her? Because yeah, the early betas definitely had her a lot more snarky and aggro and yeah, maybe she's maybe she's too friendly i don't know she hates you if you don't save her well that's true too that's true too <laughs> um you get to know each other a little more ah, separately for now no you know what that's good that's good that's good oh she's going back to playing with her toy all right Let's make the full rounds here. Hey, ass Tarion. How oh, things? So, we've picked up a wizard who managed to get stuck in his own port. <laughs> Everyone's commenting on that. Hardly a promising introduction. Gale's getting all the shade. Oh, that's it? Alright. I guess he wasn't playing with the toy, so we didn't have a way to start the conversation. What's on your mind? Tell me a bit about yourself. Let's see. I hail from Waterdeep, City of Splendors. I am a wizard of considerable acclaim and scholar of exceptional accomplishment. I have a cat, a library, and a weakness for a good glass of wine. That's what he says on his Tinder profile. Ooh. I'm known to try my hand at poetry. What would it be called in this world if it's there. not Tinder? Is it Scroller? I'm thinking of, like, um, the Owl House and how they have uh, uh, Pentagram, like... Like pentagram, but Instagram, pentagram. Port talk. We gotta get him a familiar cat. Um. Don't stop there. You must have many stories to tell about your adventures as an arc mage. I like how yeah, we'll butter him up. Didn't that paint enough of a beholder? <laughs> Face tome is good too. Ah, uh, it. So rude. Do we go and use like the illithid powers to pry into his mind at this point? I want to because I want the expo exposition, but it feels like way too rude. Sender, like the sending spell. Oh, that's pretty good. It's save first. Here, let's let's do a vote. What do people think? There should be a pop up on the screen that you can click. Although, oh, there it is. Took a little while to show up. 
Mm-hmm. Embrace the tadpole. What could possibly go wrong? Got to make sure you can trust him. Mm. Ooh, it's a tight one. Although most people seem to think that privacy is just, you know, an optional feature. Doesn't say illicit, I suppose, but... All right, try to peer into his mind. If he won't open up, you'll sneak in. Ooh, DC 15. Oh, we need a... We need not one on the guidance. Hey, there we go. We pulled it off. He might still know, though, right? We might succeed, but he'll still know. What's a... Uh... Okay, thought that was a clickable thing. For a split second, you see a swirl of untamed magic. Then his defense is... We need privacy between tadpole friends. Out! Yeah, no, yeah. That was... Uncalled for. You're right. My, my bad, buddy. Twitch made me do it. <laughs> You're right, I'm sorry, curiosity got the better of me. I mean, we could ask him. No, no, I'm just going to apologize right away. It wasn't cool. Not an eventuality I'm entirely unfamiliar oh, with. Oh, he approves. He understands the, Please don't try that again, the pull of magic. I, invite you to. I like how we all have scratches and stuff on our face because we're not at full hit points. Well, I don't think he does. I think he's fine. But I do. Um, Asterion did. He had some, like, abrasions and stuff on his cheekbones. All right. Now, crafting-wise, so I can extract all ingredients, I suppose. But, oh, I actually do have enough for a potion of mind reading. That's already gotten me in trouble, though. Any sublimate and a suspension of myrrh grass makes a potion of mind reading. Single use. I think I think I might already have one. Um, One thing I'm trying to remember. In Divinity Original Sin, were there not tabs in the... Oh, okay. Okay. Yes, there's this. There you go. As I say, there. I think there were tabs in that one for the categories like consumables, equipment, whatever. But I guess yeah, we can just we can just do this. And that's not bad. Oh, that's the equip stuff, including my underoos. Any thoughts on romancing anyone? I don't know yet. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Like with Dell and thing, we're gonna have to like see, let some things progress, kind of semi organically. Uh, and see where it is. I had to tell you, at one point in the uh, the early access, I, I was actually doing multiplayer with a kiss for luck, and I was playing um, I was playing a gnome warlock, and at at night, uh, a, a Starin may come for like a little bitey bitey visit at some point, and for that character, I was like, I think that just awakened something in me. It's kind of like weirdly hot, and it kind of worked. I don't think that would work with Dell. Shadowheart, maybe. I don't know who else we'll meet. I can maybe there's something with Shadowheart with Dell. Could be, especially this like less abrasive version of Shadowheart. But well, we're just gonna have to see what kind of like, what kind of vibes and what kind of story we can tell each other about the different characters and what kind of relationships we might go. So, and yes, I know there's some. I know there's some bear love something. I I, I don't know, man. <laughs> I know that it exists. Um, here, let's just get, just going to drop a little bit of weight here just to give us a little bit more space on our capacity. I think we were in a yellow area. Yeah, add to hop bars. So add to wares is annoying because, um, originally you could shift click to add to wares, but they changed that. Now shift click is part of, um, like range selection. So you can select here you go here. Now what I can do is I can right click and add to wares in bulk that way, which is okay. But there was something kind of nice about the shift clicking. I don't know. All right. I think it's time to just sleep. Okay. We have enough camp supplies to restore all hit points and spell slots. A few long rest. That was weird. We didn't actually do the rest. Yeah, we can control click to multi select and add the rest. Same thing, yeah. But go to we can't just go shift click 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 click. Um. Good evening to you too. <laughs> You're a good sport. Bruce. Go to hell. An everyday expression. Oh, we did actually literally go to hell. But we've seen hell. 
It's real. And it isn't trivial. Watch on your wine. Watch the flames. Sound more dejected when we first met. Ooh. That's interesting. If we just wait silently, he might decide to just add more. Or we could ask him. What's on your mind? That might be a little triggering considering we just tried to, like, read his mind, right? Yeah, I agree with Grey. I, and now Taurus and Halco. Yeah, I think I'm going to go with two. Devils, dragons, mind flayers. They used to be abstracts. Pitch Shout out playing with the Rubik's Cube in the background. What a difference a day makes. Now we have tadpoles slithering through our heads like carnivorous feti. That's not abstract. I need different casual wear. This doesn't work for me. Th that works for me. Holy cow. I just noticed that in the background. Wow. Maybe, maybe I should have played a different character. I would have cool outfits like that too. Oh my God. We probably have our storage chest over here. I can get my purple clothes going on. Not too worried. Find someone who can help us. Perhaps we can get some rats brooding with us nowhere. What can I say? But you're right. We're in deep. You know what? I mean, I want to stay positive, but this almost seems naively so. And you know what? You're right. We're in deep. You know what? Point well made. I see. I'll wake you bright and early. We'll need to find a healer before the wee one gets hungry. Mm-hmm. Um. Hold on, do we not actually have access to our chests here because it's not our regular camp? I think that's the case. And yeah, I actually got my, my purple clothes right out of the box. Like, I had it uh, on Tuesday, like when I, I got my press copy, and my purple clothes is waiting for me already. I don't know if it's w why, but I did. It was probably part of the press build. Um. So yeah, I'm guessing we didn't actually... Re oh, wait, hold on, another exclamation mark. You want help with your Rubik's Cube? What were you two talking about? Uh, what do you mean? If it's any of your business, we'd have called you over. I mean, it's true, but also feels a little. Uh, that's a little aggro. We're just discussing the next steps. I think I like that. I see. I'd be careful with Gail. You don't trust Gail. You like to stir things up. This feels like the, the OG EA uh, Shadowheart now. I wasn't confiding in one, just talking. Everyone's concerned it's you. You, know, you, you, don't, you don't trust Gale? He's a wizard. All they care about is power. Let's hope we rapidly find a healer. I, I mean, I agree. You seem reliable. I think you know how important it is that we find someone who can cure us. Best if we... Is you Morgan from Dragon Age 1 vibe? Yeah. That's what I felt too. Yeah, the sooner we find someone, the better. Yeah, Good. agreed. We might even get lucky and find one right away. As I see it, we're overdue some good fortune. Rest well. Did that start something with Hysterion? Nope, he's still just chill. All right. Oh, he's reading a book. Are you reading about the empires? I got a good book about that. Can I use a telescope here? I spy with my little eye. Nothing of note, really. There we go, camp supplies. So we have to choose what to do. Use the required amount of uh, camp supplies to fully rest. Recovering all your hit points, spell slots, and short rest. Not using enough camp supplies will rest only partially covering your resource. I was going to say, is there an auto select? There is. Now, we got these pa supply packs, which is exactly 40. And then we've got this raw food situation here. It looks like the raw food is currently weighing more than the, the pack, so it sort of makes sense to use. I'm just wondering if some of these th things can be cooked to make a more efficient supply pack kind of thing. But I'll just go ahead and use the this, you know, raw fresh food rather than this is probably all like hard tack and stuff and terribleness. That's what I was wondering if like maybe you need the food for recipes. Exactly, Bicolo. So like I'm wondering if maybe I should just use one of the supply packs and leave the raw food. Currently, I don't know, but I mean, you know what? 
it just describes it's a mix. I like this. You know, we got some wine, some fire swill. We got some fish we're going to roast. A little horseradish with the sausages. You know what? We deserve a nice little meal. Let's do that. I don't think the food goes bad. I would be very surprised. Falling into your trance should have been as easy as breathing. Yet peace eludes you. Yeah, don't actually sleep as an elf. You, you just meditate for four hours. Wood, touched only by the Telquasir. The world around you breathes. Fire spills across your thoughts. Dragon's breath. Ooh. The tadpole slithers, twisting deeper into your skull. Your head is about to burst. The memory consumes your mind, corrupting the trance. This is really interesting. So you're getting different sleep experiences as an elf than as other characters, because I haven't seen this before, but I also haven't played an elf before. So I can do a wisdom check, which I'm good at. You have walked your dreams countless times before. Will this, will this memory to pass? Or constitution, refuse to break anything can mean you're in a trance, or let the pain claim you. Interesting, but I'm going to go with option one. Still use Guidance, that's nice. It's a pretty easy save. I'm curious about like more of these, like making the wrong decisions and failing, but I think that's like a second playthrough kind of situation. The flames cool, dispelled, as the image you know emerges again. Nature's sublime majesty. As the trance stabilizes, your breath deepens, be it cure or cage. Something must be done about the tadpole. Every night that passes is another night the monster inside you grows. Nice camp spot, though. This is great. Oh, look at him meditating. Actually, a staring as well. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, that's cool. All right, no exclamation marks. So, leave camp. In this case, it's mostly pack up camp. Oh, that's awesome. All right, so we pulled that lever, so this door here should be open. There it is. Shadowheart was sleeping. Well, she's a half elf. Although, Asterion might be as well. I don't remember. Don't touch me. No, yeah, he's a full elf. Shadowheart is a half elf, so she actually does have to sleep. Yeah. Never a dull moment. Oh, this crypt is totally dank, man. Roll protection from evil and good. Yes. I'm getting a distinct whiff of crypt. Undisturbed, too. Until now. So, the only person who doesn't have dark vision is Gale. That might be important for, like, to hit chances and stuff later on. The Oak Doors. And Death and Resurrection. I don't believe we've read that. No, we haven't. <clears throat> Immediately we'll look for the dankest memes <laughs> in the dank crypt. <laughs> An excerpt from the ongoing Metatex, rebound by Josefa Elgin, a scholar excommunicated from the Church of Denier for her heretical efforts to reconstruct the Metatex, her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge. Of what value is a life? Far too esoteric a topic to warrant any serious critical consideration between these pages, surely, or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiment so often clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider, we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar ba barriers in search of a resting place that befits, best befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kalemvor weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to other gods, empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternate route. Not the end of the path, but the chance to retread it. Clerics across the realms wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. 
It is strange, then, that th these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough, for the components for such spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have interviewed those that have made such a return, and in turn have found them to be of the most dull and unim unimaginable, unimaginative sort that I could possibly imagine that I cannot possibly imagine what it is they were so eager to return to. I'm doing so good reading, and all of a sudden, like, blah, blah, blah. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking up upon it oneself. Perhaps one day, this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path and wealthy enough to return. Willingly dying so you can be resurrected. All a string. We have a jug on our inventory now, sure. That one's not lootable. So, we got a pair of doors. Heavy oak. Oh, okay, that one's got a little lock symbol. This one does not. Let's go through the unlocked one first. Seize the means of resurrection, comrades. That's right. Socialize, uh, raise dead. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Yeah, okay. No disarm toolkit available, including for Asterian then? Uh huh. Now, if I recall correctly, still alive. So that's progress. We might be able to do that. I don't know if that's actually going to plug that up. Actually, it may not. I seem to remember. Well, there's a button there. Actually, is that visible right away? That's interesting. I know it's going to set off a bunch of traps on something. Maybe we just when we loot the sarcophagi. I don't know why this button... I thought you had to do a perception check to find it. But things have clearly changed. We should probably just go in one at a time here. Step carefully. There's a trap. Yeah, there we go. That's trapped. I don't think the room trap goes off. Someone's left a trap out for us until we open that. Best be on my way. Nasty surprise. Caution is warranted here. All right, so. Listen, Asterion, you're a rogue, man. Oh. Subtle steps. If no, 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 don't talk. Can I right-click to select someone? No, it's just this. Careful, I bite. Moving. Yeah, no disarm toolkit. Well, we could push the button. Like, maybe there's a disarm toolkit in here. F8? Okay. I mean, we got the Scroll of Resurrection, but... So they did change this from EA, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, that is a hell of a trap. Because, yeah, oil comes out of these things, and I don't think this vase blocks it. Although, I mean... How delicious. Maybe I'm wrong. You know, maybe we can do those after all. Although, I'm wondering if there's another one there that we haven't spotted. Doesn't, that definitely doesn't look like it covers things. So I really feel it's different. That, so this button is, that's changed. Because I'm pretty sure you had to spot the button. And we saw it from across this, the room. How might we safely disarm this now? Oh, soul coin. Coins to empower infernal engines. An iron coin. I prefer gold. Not good. Big question is, can we set off the trap at range? You 
Yeah, pushing the button makes a sound. But Hey Quill, pay attention, there's a new subscriber. Hey Smitty Roo. I don't think this is working. I feel like it did before, but I feel like these visuals aren't right. Like, did we use boxes in the early access? Shooting that did nothing. Shooting the button did nothing. Oh, there's another... And oh, There are some boxes here. Hold on. Maybe we can use that to cover the ones that are right next to us. It's going to take a while to move. But I don't need to, like, plug everything. I just need to prevent the spot next to the button from lighting in, you know, burst into flames like that. You really walk over the... Wow, this is like the scene with the paladin in the D&D movie. Okay, let's try this. Yeah, I think the button does turn it off, but... Only after it activates. Okay, so the pro I see. The problem is there's another trap there. I don't think this one spewed um, uh, oil. So I think there's another trap there we simply didn't spot. We could create water first. That's true. Um, the oil might still override it because the effect comes second. Yes. Yeah, that door is locked. I mean, I might be able to do something with it. I think that's just going to be a... Let's crack it open. Oh, interesting. I don't think I could um, guidance because it was... I think we're too far away. Oh, in EA, you should automatically return base mode. Oh, yeah. I can enter chain race mode and maybe hit the button quicker. Oh, that's his own transition. Okay. Oh, to outside here. Oh! Okay, yep. Okay, I'm going to go and bring this box over. But then also what we'll do is we'll go and force turn-based mode. That might give us a chance to hit the button immediately. But yeah, I think part of it too is there's a trap there that I hadn't spotted. So we're going to kind of guess about the location. Okay. Okay. Away from water deep. He has an environment turn. Let us start a conversation. A trap. Someone doesn't like visitors. Did that work? Which way to the nearest library? Oh well shit, that was easy. Yeah, okay. I don't think it's the boxes. I think it's the fact that I made it and hit the button before those things fired. I just... Maybe you could have done it in real time, too, if you're just faster. You could reload and try. Let me try again without turn-based mode and just see if I just click open and then immediately run over and hit the button. Let's see what happens. For science, I want to know. But yeah, it does feel really brutal. You use two people. Yeah, but it's, I'd have to switch to two people really fast. We still have this stuff covered. Okay, well, for two things. First of all, I clearly was not able to do those at the same uh, fast enough to stop the fire from going. But these boxes did stop the oil. Shall we? It's. I think these vases also did it, even though it looks like they shouldn't. I think the vases actually did work. So yeah, we were fine. I think because of the boxes over here.
This is actually a good trap. The fact that this, I, the fact that the vases seem to have worked because there's no oil here, despite that is a little weird, but the boxes feel fine. I did take a bit of an explosion from the fire, but otherwise we're okay. Okay. Watcher's guide. First, uh, what kind of, oh, it's a spear. Oh yeah, when the spear misses target, the wielder's next attack roll against the target gains true strike. That's insane. It's so good. The question is, who would use the spear? I don't think uh, Delors is proficient. Oh, you are. I guess it's a simple weapon, so anyone can use it. But again, we might want a shillelagh. Let's get on with it. Um, we could give it the Shadow Heart. It's versatile, so you can one-hand it. There you go. She looks like a Spartan now. Or a Greek hoplite. So yeah, no, it's insane because, yeah, if you miss, you get the, the bonus to hit on the next one, which is actually crazy good. Right, it's not a light weapon, so someone with strength, which she's only got a 13. It's not fantastic, but <laughs> she's the only one with double digit strength in the entire party. Oh, my God. And yeah, she looks like a badass with the spear, right? That is really cool looking. Can we use? Oh, there we go. Let's say, can we F1 to select party members? And the answer is yes. Easy path. OK, so that's just the exit. We have presumably looted this room. Oh, there's a vase there, but I don't think the vase has really had much. Cleric said how to strength. I mean, that's pretty typical. Clerics are great meleers because, um, well, depending on their choice of god, they can potentially wear heavy armor. So I'm wondering if the key is for this door here. In 5e, most of our uh, most enemies are hard to hit. We're we're getting a lot of like 60% chances and stuff like that. So the true strike is great. There we go. Yep. Yeah, item sharing is fine. Okay. Okay, so I have a decent memory of this room. Armed scribes. No sign of a struggle. I wonder what was so subversive about their words that they commanded protection. Looks Book. like someone wanted to bury their secrets. Book of Dead Gods. Is it really locked? This book is far lighter than it should oh. be with such a massive lock. Arcana, search for rune to sabotage at a minus one, or strength, smash them the lock. Well, we'll attempt Arcana, although I should probably give it to Gale for this. It'd be nice if I had inspiration for a reroll. Come on, guidance. I mean, I need a four. Oh, I do have inspiration. All right, let's try it. Ah! Womp womp. Oh, I like that it still shows the attempt. The tome does not take kindly to your tempering. A feeling like pins and needles lingers under your skin pricking and prodding. All right, I'll try to smash the lock open. Book not defeat me. Whack. Even worse. through your body as if you just slammed a hammer into solid adamantine. The lock doesn't budge. Yeah, what if I try with Gale? Excellent choice. Yes, of course. This book is far lighter than it should be oh. with such a massive lock. Wizard intelligence, open, knock the lock open with a spell. Presumably the DC for this is going to be lower because it's sort of a specialized wizardy thing. Right, because we're not getting to add our um, proficiency bonus from Arcana here, right? It'd be a total of plus five. Here it's only gonna be a plus three, but presumably, <laughs> Gale Smash, presumably it's a lower DC. Advantage, oh, we're gonna get advantage, situational. There we go. Well, it said situational, so I don't know. DC 10, I mean, it is easier. 
Oh my god! We're gonna be defeated by a book! <laughs> book one, Quill Zero. No, book three, Quill Zero. To your tempering. A feeling like pins and smash under your skin, pricking and prodding. There we go. Oh, wait, wait, minus one. So we still need a three or better. We got there. <laughs> Classic DD moment. Everyone fails. The M's just sitting there, like, oh my god, there's some critical plot um, exposition in this book. Like, if these idiots can't open this stupid thing, it's like, and like, they, the DM probably put some like obvious puzzle solution in the room to do it, and the 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 players are just being like a bunch of chimpanzees. Book bad. <laughs> yeah, gotta hit it in the right spot. <laughs> As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Apes together strong. Magic pulses from the parchment. What was once script is now an obliterated score. Okay, Quill, you loosened it, yes. You have a sense these are names, a list, but of what? Well, it's called the Book of the Dead Gods. Ooh, religion check. All right, he's got a good int. He's got the guidance. There we go. Gods. These are the names of gods. Once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Hmm. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. Act like Divinity Undone. Shadowheart is inspired. Oh, lovely. So Gale's got it as well. Yep. So the Acolyte got it for religion. Gale got it for the Sage. I've used my inspiration up. We got to wait for a new one. Okay. Still alive. So that's progress. Hold on. We want to take this with us. If not over, then through. Oh, don't mind if I do. There you go. Huh, little grotto. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Ninety-eight subs in the wall. Heavy key. And we're gonna come back to this side in a second. I'm wondering if there's some like preliminary trap stuff we could be doing on these guys. I'm not sure we have anything for that. This is not the world's easiest fight. Look at that. Jurgle, the scribe of the dead. This chapel must be ancient. Boy, it's a good thing we have Gale around to succeed in all these knowledge checks. The inscription is in a language unknown to you. Ugh. How do we learn some languages? Come on. Wonder if you can torch their corpses? That's interesting. Mm. Yeah. Ready and willing. My pleasure. What happens if you, uh... Oh, invalid target. Really? Oh, that is interesting. Yeah, the game's like, no, no, no. None of that. I wonder if the gods are watching me. Something over there. Is it just highlighting the button, which was already visible? Okay. Gas grease. Oh yeah, we could pre-grease the area. That's true. Hell, 
Something just woke up down here. All right. Well, apparently we're on group initiative. Let them come. I mean, the not, the, just, can be we just happen to roll that way. <laughs> so I still want Dell to be a target. On my way. I'm not sure that's gonna work out. Um, could fairy fire? I prob. I might be able to hit these two with a fairy fire, but I'm just wondering about ice sniping. Oh, you're out of range. Not enough movement. Oh, to get line of sight, and that's not the greatest hit chance either. All right, I'm just gonna fairy fire these. We could pick up the corpses and move them? That's interesting. Although that might be something changed as well. Alright. Go bear form. They're fairy fired, so we're gonna have advantage to hit these guys. Uh I don't know. You know this one may have made their save. I hadn't actually noticed. But I don't see any sparkles there. Gone with the weave. Oh! Sorry, I don't mean magic missling. I meant to firebolt here. Yeah, with advantage. High ground, fairy fire. A hole two! You know, maybe I should actually I probably should have opened with more damaging stuff. Just to try to get the tempo on our side. Guiding bolt. 80% chance with advantage. Eight? We did eight damage and 46? Because the average would be uh, 10. I mean, so not too far below average, but still. Somewhat disappointing. Um, I think I'm gonna move you up over here at a risk of opening some line of sight. Yeah, why don't you feel a faith yourself? Shall we cut and run? And that leaves a staring. Now, staring could run far enough. Actually, I'm betting you can reach this guy. We're going to dash. I'm actually not sure you can melee. Oh, yeah, you will. Okay. Excellent. No, average of 46. No, average of 46 is... So, a D6 um, average roll. Actually, sorry, I undercut. I was doing 2.5 is the average. No, the average roll on a 2d6 or on a, on a d6 is 3.5. I was doing the math as if it was 2.5. One a, a d6 average number is 3.5. So seven, 14. 14 is the average expected damage, and we rolled an eight. So what you do is you add the minimum and the maximum, and then divide by two. So one plus six equals seven. Divide by two, 3.5. That's the average number on a die. So now that was very disappointing. Silence. Hm, okay. Critical hit. Oh, come on, game. Ah, ah stupid scribe. Is there a way to like cycle through people in combat here who are at an active turn? I don't know. Um, listen, Another Quill, what's fight. what's going on here, buddy? Let's go. Movement speed is reduced. Yeah, can't speak. That's fine. We still have advantage on this guy because of the fairy fire. I'm sorry, what was our chance to hit? Wasn't it like 80%? I don't know if that was 80% with the advantage or 80% like twice. Either way, I am disappointed. I'm gonna go in uh, Lunar Mend here. Give myself some HP. And I'm just gonna skirt around this guy. Another step forward. There we go. Let's spill some blood. Oh, I lost concentration in Fairy Fire. But I, I was gonna say, I still had a, a advantage from the Guiding Bolt. Like, I knew I still had advantage. I, when I moused over, it said advantage. So I, I, I mean, I think. I thought when I moused over. Yeah, yeah, 1D, 1D20 advantage. 
That's interesting, because it says I rolled a three. Was the three the best of my advantage roll? Did it roll like a two and a three? Jeez. I'm ready. Time to kill. With pleasure. Huh. All right, we broke the silence, uh, the concentration of the silence. No gloom, all doom. Yeah, let's uh, let's break out a magic missile here. Let's target, um, it's an interesting question. Who do we target? I'm gonna kill. If this guy tries to do anything, he'll probably get attack of opportunities from Asterion. Oh, well, he's only got two HP. Let's hit him with one. There we go. And then drop the other two over here. Torment. There we go. I mean, again, he might have gotten a kill anyway, but let's just make sure, because why not? Otherwise, let's just stay on the high ground. If this guy runs to me, he's going to get attacked for opportunities by a bear, so. Let's end this. So, yeah, 45% to hit is not great. But what if we... So, you've yeah, you've got your Firebolt. You've also got Sacred Flame, which is a little redundant, but they do operate on different saves. 65%. 40%. Or let's guide and bolt this guy again. I mean, 55% ain't great. Let's do it. There you go. 55% of the time, it works every time. On the move. More silence. When you did the fight in early access, looted all the bodies before triggering the fight, none of the enemies said, well, we did loot all the bodies. But I mean, it's not stopping these guys from casting spells. Well, they seem to mostly just be casting silence. Um, I don't suppose. No choice but to keep going. I think who can't really attack this guy, all right? Oh, I still can't get there. I was like, I know I had the Ray of Frost, but I thought, well, maybe. But dang. Because I was hoping to get into base-to-base -base contact with them so that we could set up for some attacks of opportunity. What about Shadowheart? Can you reach? No, not even with a dash. That's not going to happen. And you're silenced. All right, so I think the best bet... Well, actually, I suppose Gale is the best bet because maybe we can break the silence. Uh, we can do some more magic missiles. Yeah, two farts. Okay, just run up. You got this. Oh yeah, three different rolls. Nice. Shall we dance? All right, you just walk up and oh, is it dead? Oh, it's this guy over here. Hang on, can I dash? And dash again? I assume the answer is no, but I kind of want to test it. I should go here and just shoot him. Because it just says double. Uh, where is it? Right here. Oh, yeah, I can. Up maneuver. Cool, so we can triple move. Again, probably the best thing to do would have gone here and just shot him. But I had to know for science. Not now. Heading there. Yeah, no range. Uh call it EM dash. <laughs> I love typography humor. All they can do is cast silence? What's going on here? Or maybe they're just, I see, if you see a spellcaster, attempt to silence it. Come on. If it's not oh, silenced, and we just keep breaking it. You can't reach, but this time what we're going to do is it's going to be a dash. 
Yeah, go around back. That's fine. And base to base contact with it. Time for cull. And then here we can do a dash. Although I was like, oh, sneak attack. But first of all, I think I hadn't used this, but also they probably can't be sneak attack. Because they're undead. Or. No, they did take the sneak attack damage. All right. Swords meet sword. That surprises me, but sure. My faith will protect me. On my way. Oh, I have this advantage really? Didn't realize I'd be threatened here. I made a save. Battle of wits. Uh, is that gonna get you out of the silence? Just, just barely. Yep. One HP. Hey, good job. Rising from the dead just to protect some dusty old baubles. The unthinking cadavers. I might as well feel sorry for a bread basket. I want to break uh, this because I want uh, Dolores to be in here having a conversation. <laughs> a lot of effort to hide one sarcophagus. So, Amulet of Lost Voices gives us access to a Speak with Dead ability here. I don't know if we need it for this. I think you can just talk to us anyway. Just one sarcophagus? No, it's just the one in here, isn't it? Aaron? I don't see a second sarcophagus. Oh, do I have to target? Oh, yeah, okay. Talk to a corpse. Answer up to five questions. Oh, I've seen this movie. Maybe we can talk to some of the dead guys who just killed. Oh, you've heard trapped one from earlier. Right. This guy does look really cool. Although he does probably smell like dirty feet. So he has spoken, and so thou standest before me. Right, as always. What a curious way to awaken. Now, I have a question for thee. What is the worth of a single mortal's life? Let's see what Twitch chat has to say about it. We have quite the question. What's the reason for it? So he has spoken. What he are you talking about? Oh, wait, this is actually not the um, the mortal life thing. I think he, he will follow up on it and ask us again in a second here. All right, I kind of agree with, th with option four. That seems interesting here. A peaceful and dead. Interesting. Why are you attacking me? Because... That would be senseless. They changed with his voice, did they? Answer my question. Yes, ask away. So I This is the one I want you guys to vote on. What is the worth of a single mortal life? There we go. So the options are no one's life is worth more than any other. We are all equal. That the per depends on a person's deeds. Life's only value is his currency. It doesn't matter to me otherwise. Each life is of infinite value, and oh, some of the old votes are still coming through. Uh, and merit sacrificing everything for. The only life that matters is mine. Depends on the mortal or elf. Some mortals live much longer than others. I can't compare them. Well, that's quite interesting. Let's click on seven. Yeah, you gotta click on the screen. As far as I know. Yeah, you're right. How can we not elf? If you've got like a special thing that's not just for um, that, that not every character is going to see, you kind of have to click on that, right? Yeah. Some mortals live much longer than others. I can't compare them. Yeah, it wasn't earlier votes popped up sooner. Yeah, no, I think I think it got confused between the uh, it, it still had the old UI for some people. Yeah, see, and this is starting to come in now. Yeah. 
It might be a delay. Votes lagged. Because I, I did two um two votes at the same time. And you're right. See, here's the, the interesting thing. We had that book that did say that not all lives are quite worth the same, right? In that one book we were reading. That it might depend on the deeds. So two might be the right answer in a sense, but we're gonna go with seven here. Some more lives much longer than others. I can't compare them. It is mortality, just the same. Very well. I am satisfied. We have met, and I know thy face. I know thy face too. We'll see each other again at the proper time and place. Farewell. Like, okay. Properly created. Another soul coin. Gold. Bottle of drow poison. Coat your active weapon with poison. And an elixir of bark skin. Here lies the guardian of tombs. Through knowledge comes atonement. I have, like, can't cast spells silence stuck to my mouse. I'm not silenced. I can definitely cast a spell. All right, so just a UI thing. All right. I can probably save and reload and get rid of that. Okay. Let's speak with dead this guy. Corpse is too damaged. Can't target undead. What? I sure he's not undead. He's dead dead round. Huh. Okay. Corpse too damaged. Some people don't know about like the ability to leave here. Which I hadn't realized because I did the first time that I came through here. We are prob loot them. We looted. What are you talking about? We looted all the bodies. Well, I guess we looted them before we killed them, didn't we? Mm. Or is there something else to loot? I think the body... Oh, no. There. Yeah, see? That's an empty chest. Anything of use? Well, we'll check here, but... I think that's all that's all looted. I don't think that was done. Oh, well. Maybe maybe they, they respawn some gold. I don't think there's gonna be anything important though. Here goes nothing. We'll just go. <clears throat> you're rogue. Oh, you you pick locked your way in from here. That's interesting. I don't think I've ever like ended up pathing this way. I don't remember where it connects. Okay, there's some knotted roots there. More balsam. Maybe I need more pockets. That might be worth something over there. Oh, we still don't have a freaking shovel. I need a shovel. Now he said, "I think I need more pockets." Am I getting? No, I'm not. I'm not encumbered. I don't think we ran into a shovel anywhere. Morph into a dog and dig? No. I mean, I can't do a dig, but so, how about a badger? Badger's got the burrow ability. Once this is all over. You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. You mean just waiting? Like a lovesick puppy? That's a giant badger. Short-term amusements are much less hassle. Oh, it doesn't even let me click on it. Game, I am disappointed. I consider this a huge fail. I mean, if I can do that, you can't, you tell me badger form can't dig up a dirt mound. Come on. I disapprove. Um, because this is based on the Divinity Original Sin 2 engine. 
And in there, if you played a lizard folk, you could always dig up dirt stuff, uh, which is your claws. And do you need anything special? Maybe you need a magic shovel. You do? I would love if you could click on the map and tell your people to go there. Or click on the map to move your camera to an area. And then you click the ground. Broken. Must have been here a while. All right, just call from uh, from the nurse confirming my appointment for tomorrow. Gotta get my my foot processed some more. Do 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 do. You think it's dangerous? Of course it's. Oh, dangerous. here we go. Hang on. One of them carved a bone whole squad. So we oh. And let the goblins have it? No, we take it to the grove. Hey, uh, what's going on over here? Zoru was right. Yellow as a toad and twice as ugly. The thing's dangerous. Leave it for the goblins to kill. And if it escapes, how will you... Oh, a guest. Your skull pounds in response to the prisoner's white hot stare. Her lips don't move, yet you hear her voice. Get rid of them. Rather demanding for a woman in your position, why should I? Don't worry, I'll get him out of here one way or another. Not, not, not one way or another. I mean, come on. We can we can talk this out, right? Deception. This creature is dangerous. Get her out of here. Get out of here. Leave it to me. Persuasion. Shoot the trap down. We must kill it before it harms someone. Attack the tieflings. Well, I guess we're going to go for the little white lie. Well, how? it's not a lie. This creature is dangerous. I've seen her fight. But yeah, we, I mean, we don't want to just attack these tieflings just because they trapped her. Yeah, the options suck. It'd be like, it'd be great if there was a persuasion of, listen, no, she's actually fine. Don't worry about it. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, I've got some inspiration. Is I wonder, is it shared inspiration or did Dell do something that gave him some inspiration? Let's roll again. Boy, you better be worth it. <laughs> okay, my inspiration die is cursed. I just roll worse every time. No, I'm not leaving this fiend with a stranger. Kill them. Roll's been bad all game. Maybe I should run the karmic dice. Okay, I'm gonna say, don't worry. I'll get rid of them one way or another. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell Lazale here. Your words flow to her. Maybe, maybe we can come up with another plan. I know what grows inside you, and I know of a cure. Remember how keen she was to leave me to die in the Nautiloid. We can't trust her. <laughs> True. Um. So. The problem is, I don't know if this actually leads to us attacking Lazale. Or or what? If this is just, ah, this way we'll get her out, and now we'll be like, all right, you guys leave now. Don't don't start no shit. I don't know if this actually leads to combat. I guess we have to. I did save, I think, right before this conversation, so um, we can just repeat our actions. Push comes to shove. I mean, if they're going to go and try to kill her, we will defend her and attack the tieflings. That's the way it's going to go, you know? She's the victim here, but we'll do this and see where it leads. Because that's what it'd be like, try to convince them. And then after she's down, we're like, actually, but if it immediately goes into combat, then he's right. No one's safe if that thing Shadowheart happens. approves. Not even us. Oh, wait, she doesn't like Lazale. Enough. Lower the trap. Ready your blade. A good roll for one that I don't necessarily care the same way. Okay, she's down. You've got one chance. There we go. Join me or die. Well, don't threaten me. Oh, no, no matter what, we're just attacking the tieflings. Okay. Well, this is the way it goes. No! You lying rat!
real roadie, but I guess that's what happens when you fail some checks. I feel like there should have been another diplomatic options available to us, you know? Well, I don't have any more shapeshift available. That's annoying. Oh, right. I don't have, I was going to shove, but I don't have a bonus action because I shall lead. Let's have some cut. Damn it. Why doesn't it? Oh, hold on a sec. It did sneak attack automatically. So you don't have to choose the sneak attack. Because I main hand attacked. It did a rhetoric attack. Then you sneak attack as a separate thing. It's listed differently than when I do this. This did it as a single roll. Like a single line that did extra damage. I'm confused. It is passive over here. Okay. Then we don't have to worry about hitting this button anymore. I don't know why this button exists. Maybe that's something they that could just clean up. Oh, you're right. We can do non-lethal damage. I forgot. Thank you. Well, yeah, it's because we were flanking him. Is is we had advantage to what was happening. Maybe the sneak attack is only something that like that button is for when you are, um. Like stealthed? But even then, you would think, because it gives you advantage, so it should be automatic anyway. Now, I can't do non-lethal damage with spells. But we can't kill this guy in one shot anyway. The most we can do is 15 here. Guess we get attacked again. Of course. And you'll just move back. Got to concentrate. All right, yeah, you're not gonna be able to get in there. Um, I guess in case we um, create or something, we're gonna toggle on non-lethal attacks. Bleed for me. There you go. We have true strike for next round. I could shove you, but we wouldn't really gain anything from. I don't know. Here, we'll go here. I don't think that's enough to really do anything. Oh, we failed anyway. But it would have been really funny. Oh, I don't think she's going to be doing non-lethal attacks. Yeah, so they don't need to be... The flanking is not a concept that exists in 5e. Um, but the the rogue has something special where if you have another... Uh, well, if you have an ally in melee combat with someone, then that enables sneak attack. Um, because... It's sort of quasi-flanking in that case. There's not an actual flanking rule, but you can still get that as a rogue. Uh, you don't even have to be in melee. Uh, and position doesn't matter. Like, you don't have to flank from the other side like you did in, like, Threaded or something. Um, and you can even range attack if you're within 30 feet, I believe. Go for the throat. Uh, passes. Oh! I think it toggled it for the entire party. That's handy. So, here we can see... I don't have sneak attack selected. It should trigger it. Well, we're going to find out if it auto triggers it or not. There's a flanking rule just listed optional, yeah. Well, I guess uh, it doesn't matter. Oh, I can flourish as a bonus action. No. There you go. Knocked out. It's fine. Don't freak out, dude. Although, we're going to take off all our armor in the middle of combat because. Sure, that makes sense. Let's move. Oh, maybe I shouldn't Nothing have done that, because now I'm not sure Dell. Oh, he will be able to get in there. And confirm non-lethal damage is on. Let's get this over with. <laughs> wow. Did it sneak attack when I flourished? Oh, it did too. Wow. Okay, that's actually really strong. All right. The tadpole hasn't yet scrambled all your senses. Auspicious. But the longer we wait, the more it consumes. My people possess the cure for this infection. I must find a crash. You will join me. Um, I think it's going to go the other way around, actually. She obviously sees your kindness as weakness. Don't let her take advantage. 
What exactly is a crash? It is many things. A hatchery, a training grounds, a shelter. Githyanki protocol is clear. When infected with a gay tadpole, we must report to Augustil for purification. Alright. But you know, yeah, a thank you wouldn't go amiss. You may as well suggest a wyvern bow to worms. The cure. Jeez. Wow. What a jerk. Alright, let's turn you together. Let's find this crash. You say you got a cure? Even though we don't I don't think we like you, but you're saying you got a cure, so sure. You are full up. Dismiss your weakest warrior. Um Yeah, I think we're gonna dismiss you. Very well. But heed my words. Oh, Gale Shadowheart disapproves. Camp, oh, because we still let her into the party. Zoru has seen Githyanki. A crash must be near. I must interrogate this Zoru. Our very lives depend on it. I will be at your camp. Do not keep me waiting. So yeah, so I don't know if like us doing non-lethal damage is going to really change anything um, with these characters showing up again or not. Or maybe they'll cause problems later showing up or not. But, you know, it, it feels it feels a little bit better because they're they're dumb, but not too dumb to live, you know? So what we're going to do here is we're going to keep going until we get to the gates of the uh, the town, One which I think is just off in this direction. I'm not sure. And then we'll be wrapping up the stream. So we're going for a little bit longer. I guess uh, we'll probably should do a short rest here. Time to get going. I like how Shadow Star Heart still has her shield of faith going on. <gasps> A shovel! I hear shouting up ahead. We should check it out, but be careful. Lime, lemon, and lichen die. Wait, we dye our armor? What? Oh, I'm going to save that. Um, let's... Let's push forward. I'll, I'll, we'll do the teleport and dig later. I want to get the teleport site near the town here. Am I going the right way for this? Oh, yeah, over here. We could take the high ground with people, but not a bad idea. On group. Charmed, I'm sure. Yes. Uh. Is that blood? No, never mind. Can't afford to stay idle. Keep your distance, darling. Can't box select or multi select these guys, can I? Mm, looks like no. I still like the idea of Gale having the high ground. It was just wish it'd be easier to move everyone else in a group. I did untoggle non lethal. Path lies before me. Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Man, that's nice graphics. So fuzzy. Open the gates. <clears throat> oh, you can drag the parties, uh, the portraits to create sub parties. Oh, okay. Thank you. Because they're lucky they didn't get their hands crushed. Form a line! Damnable roach. Provoke the blade. And suffer its sting. That's a pretty good entrance. I'm I'm very interested to meet the new while. Will? I guess it's Will, right? Okay. Asterion's gonna have a competition for the flashiest person. Over here. Oh, 
okay, so piercing shot is something that's once per short rest that deals normal damage plus a bleed. That's interesting. Do this because the bleed will do the most value, maybe. Oh, and a crit. Now we could dash four, but I'm not sure that's what we want to do. Just like old times. Oh, and then I'm out of mood. Right. Okay. And I will. Will got that panache. Hey, there wasn't a goblin there before. Every last one of you. Death is but a word away. Critical miss. Gonna try to shove it? No, I think Gale should probably Rook. run away. What should I do? Well, part of me is wondering if she should go up here. Actually, on no. the move. Let's take care of business over here. All right, we got 50, 60, and if we use Sacred Flame, no. All right, Firebolt it is. We've been rolling that garbage all day. Okay, do I want to cast a spell before I Wild Shape? Well, I don't actually have any spell slots, so no. Let's bear it up. Now, Dolores isn't gonna be able to reach anyone regardless. We'll do a dash. You know what? We're gonna come up here and help uh, Gale out. Path lies before me. Oh, really? Oh, there's probably not enough room for him. He's a, he's a big boy. All right, looks like no attacks for opportunity doing this. I'm just going to get in the middle of melee and try to pin some of these guys down. Sorry, is Alchemist Fire no action? What? Well, nothing's happening. Oh, it must be a throw action. It's probably standard action to throw it. It just doesn't show as a, as a use. Okay. I'm thinking the action is a throw and it's just free to use the potion to do it. By sickle and sword, strike them down. All right there, Will. Damn, dude. The question rapidly becomes, who do we include in our party? <laughs> There's some good candidates. And also Lazale, but we're not going to bring her. I don't even know if that's how her name is pronounced. Don't look now. Oh, yeah, that's a friendly. All right. Advantage. Um, how do we know if we're in range for the range sneak attack? Okay, there's the radius, so it seems to be fine. Eighty-eight percent advantage attack. God dang. All right, let's just get in there. Be quick. 
do some more uh, attack of opportunity coverage here. Although that guy is a melee, so he's probably not going to move away. Time to get some new dice, right? Let's say, ha, ah, the high ground doesn't count for anything, but apparently. breakdown of the stats like can i hold a key no just 65 percent it'd be nice to know if i'm getting like a low ground penalty or or something from here we have infilibulant oh. wow we hit hold two damage so we're not getting income penalties that's okay i don't think i need to move with with gale i think he's fine where he is Oh, she does have a rush attack, presumably because of the weapon. Charge! Oh, that does look so cool. In combat looting? Oh, nothing to loot. That does look awesome. Can we shove this guy? I mean, I don't think it helps us, but I kind of just want to. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm gonna leave um, a staring to take that guy. I could roar to try. Uh, is it a bone? No, it's an actual action. Never mind. So we'll just go for the kill. Yeah, two hit points short. Uh, but stay here. There we go. We're still getting the XP, even if we're not getting the kill. So that's all that matters here. Um, melee weapon. Ha cha cha. With the sneak attack. Massive overkill. Quickly. Yeah, this guy's not going to want to do range attacks anymore. <laughs> not giving you balls of gate vibes. Do Vanuity Origins send BGC? I mean, well, yes and no. Although, Divinity Original Sin with a Baldur's Gate skin isn't the worst thing in the universe either. Now, this guy's got amazing AC. He is the boss, I suppose. That makes sense. Here's an illusion. Get distracted. It's one of those, well, you're not wrong, but I don't know if you're right, I guess. Uh -oh. Or I don't know if it's meaningful. Like, is that a distinction without a difference? Fall by my hand. The combat does feel dramatically different from uh, Divinity. I mean, and it's not just that it's, you know, the strength dex con and d20 kind of system um but the nature the style of the attacks the damage range um the action bonus action like movement kind of vibe as opposed to um the action point system it all leads to in my mind some pretty significant differences if you don't die we're gonna go for a shove oh, all right oh my god i mean admittedly they're not very strong but still kind of annoying we are destroying this fight, which is good. Sometimes you lose a lot of these NPCs. Which is, you know, kind of disappointing. Coward almost. That was the last of them. Inside! All of you! More may follow! Open the gate! I was disappointed when they announced that this would be turn-based as opposed to real-time with pausing originally. Um, because I'm a big fan of games where... Uh, I don't know the color. It's not theft, is it? I mean, I don't see why it would be theft. 
Corpses are red versus yellow. I mean, uh, I didn't get that kill. Be a soft bedroll in my oh, there we go. This one. Okay. This goblin brawler would be theft because it's a red chest. Okay. Stuffed bear. Ritual staff. So maybe because we didn't get the kill on that, but we didn't get the kill here. Well, Will may have, and maybe we're getting um, we're getting the value of Will in terms of of lootability. Don't waste a step. Interesting. Oh, we can toggle group mode back on. So many skulls. I wonder if anyone buys them. Uh, okay, so we didn't loot the ones that would be considered theft. And I'm not too worried that they've got a tremendous amount of value in there. Let's do our level up, and then we're going to wrap it up. It's been a four and a half hour stream, and I'm planning on streaming again tomorrow. Um, we're not going to start at 11. We are probably going to start... Um, we're probably going to start... Probably at 1 in the afternoon. Is most likely what's going to happen. Because I have a medical appointment at 11. Hello, level two spells. Well, we're gonna, since we don't have to choose what we're learning here, I'm not gonna worry about what my spell prep is. We'll make an ajustem out of that next time. We'll have to choose it for Gale, presumably. Whatever comes, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, no, someone, someone had pointed out, yeah, we can do the grouping of people. Thank you. Uh, so same thing here. We don't have to make any choices, but we'll obviously want to prepare level two spells. Asterian should get a rogue choice at level three, right? Yeah, subclass. So I'm assuming the arcane trickster was selected here because that is Asterian's sort of canon background, which I kind of like for him. Um, I'm not sure how powerful the arcane trickster necessarily is. Um, and part of me is actually wondering if I might just prefer him being a straight-up thief. He does kind of have shit int. Resistance falling damage. Additional bonus actions. That's really handy. And then, yes, then there's Assassin. In combat, you have advantage on attack rolls against creatures that haven't taken a turn yet. Any successful attack roll against surprise creatures is a critical hit. Yeah, we really have to work the stealth for this one. Quick as an alley cat in a rain dark city, you immediately restore your action and bonus action at the start of combat. Which means, again, you're just optimized for a sneak in and do an assassination. I don't, uh, I don't know if I'm going to want to micromanage the stealth thing. It is a little tempting. The thing is, the thief with just the extra bonus action is so flexible in combat. Because he's going to do a bunch of extra dashes, a bunch of extra flourishes, be able to adapt to whatever situation we throw at him. And the problem with the assassin is that I'm going to have is A, I suck at stealth minigame. B, he's going to start combat by backstabbing someone and then he'll be exposed in the middle of everything. Basically, you vote not Arcane Trickster. Yeah, I'm going to go with Thief because I think for me and my playstyle, I'm not saying this is the, the strongest pick necessarily, but the way I like to play and me not liking the stealth minigame means I'm going to do a bad job with Assassin. So we're going to go with Thief. Um, it's just a tremendous amount of flexibility. No and then Gale, and this will be important because we're going to have to pick a spell for him. Gain two spells. Arcane Lock? It's interesting. I wonder how much value that has in this game. Blur, Concentration Spell, Cloud of Daggers. Thinning Daggers attacks anyone inside. Lasts for ten turns. An area effect that sticks around. It's kind of interesting. Crown of Madness. So they, ha they can save, and it's a Concentration Spell. Attacks the closest person to them, other than you. But it could still be one of my other allies. Darkness, dark vision, detect thoughts. Enlarge reduce. So in a lot of these games, enlarge is actually a tremendous buff. 
You throw it on your one of your party members and it increases their damage. I mean, what if we enlarge the bear? Right? The flaming sphere is interesting because it lasts for 10 turns you can move it around. If I had gone assassin, we could have paired it up with invisibility here. I mean, Acid Arrow is just a tremendous amount of decent damage. I mean, Mirror Image, such a good defensive spell. So is Misty Step, actually. One d six damage over ten turns with concentration. I don't think that damage is fast enough to justify. Uh, Scorching Ray is a fun evocation spell, though. I mean, it's not an area evocation. Shatter is an area evocation. All nearby. Oh, is it centered on self? No, it's 18 meter range. Shatter's just like a poor man's fireball. I think I might like that. We can memorize that instead of Thunder Wave or Burning Hands, for example. Yeah, I like I like the idea of enlarging the bear. I think I kind of want that. Yeah, 18 meters from self. It's not an 18 meter AoE. It's 18 meters from self, and it has some sort of area. And double damage on inorganic, yeah. All right, I like this. This is going to be fun. Mm -hmm. Oh, right, they do use different slots because I'm thinking of the cleric in 5th Ed, right? Or the, the druid. Like, when I check my memorizations oh, as the druid here, not as bad as I have... Apparently, I can't tweak my spells in this form. That's interesting. Oh, I'm encumbered now. I have a fixed number of slots, and they're not leveled. Like, they could all be the level twos. But you're right, in that Gale has specific memorizations... Uh, no! Oh, yeah, because the spell, the actual spellcasting slots. You're right. Hold on. I'm getting confused between the prepare and the spell slots that get used up. Yeah. So I can memorize, even as Dell here, all level twos, but then I won't be able to, I'll only be able to cast two spells, and then I'll be done. I'll have all these first level slots that do nothing other than self healing in animal form. That's right. I got to remember that. 5e is different than what I'm used to. Again, most of my experience is the third. But yeah, I forgot about that, which is very handy. So we're going to want a mix of both because I'm still going to want to use these lower slots. That being said, I think it's still tr the case with Gale that I don't have to worry necessarily about an AoE we, um, because we can just level two shatter. So I'm, then I'm going to want stuff like probably the magic missile still. I should probably get him to like be casting mage armor. I keep forgetting about that. And I think I still want magic missile and then probably the shield spell as a reaction. Which I kind of like the idea. And then we do have our scrolls over here to learn more stuff. Yeah. That is quite cool. Nice interface here. That's actually incredibly good. I don't have to go looking for the scrolls and right-clicking on them. That's incredibly useful. Hmm. And yes, we can prep all level 1 spells and upgrade them. Not all spells upscale to higher ranks, but a lot of them do. Thanks for the uh, the last minute uh, sub. Thank you very much, Noms and Malambus. So I will be streaming in tomorrow. I'm going to say tentatively... 1 p.m. Eastern time tomorrow, we are going to start some more Baldur's Gate 2. Normally, we'd have a live stream on Saturday. I don't think there's going to be one uh, this weekend. And so other than that, Monday, RimWorld. Well, normally it's Monday, RimWorld, Wednesday, a bit of a wild card. I kind of expect we're going to be doing some more Baldur's Gate 3 because I think it's going to be the hotness both for you guys and me as well. So, yeah. But no live stream this Saturday because I'm going to... Um, well, I'll probably need the rest after two days of probably long stream. I think I'm going to stream long again tomorrow, but then I'm also going to be out of town. So, but yeah, other than that, folks, thanks for coming out today. Thanks for all the new subs, all the new follows, everything like that. Much appreciated. I'm going to go eat my now cold pizza and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Bye bye. More goblins. What's next? <laughs>